So uh, we'll get started now. Um, thank you all for your patience. Thank you to my audience for stopping by. This is a special debate, special debate. Um, we're going to do it on COVID. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, well then please be sure to uh, like, uh, comment, and subscribe. If you have not done so before, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We're trying to blow, grow that platform. So help us out with that. Um, and you want something to comment about, comment on how beautiful Sharpie is, right? <laughs> like everyone, like, uh, Shower him with praise. Shower hey, this man with Fnatic praise. Twim's doing good. Uh, we're doing all good. so excited to finally see him. But uh, yeah, uh, thanks you all for being here. I'll get started by introducing uh, my guests. First, we'll start with uh, Red Charlotte. Red Charlotte, thank you for coming through. Um, uh, and it's like you were here before on the uh, Amazon Lily panel. We're grateful to have you then. And then uh, you also spent hours and hours arguing with you about foreign policy. Yeah. <laughs> We're, we're, yeah, last night was not fun. I, like I wanted to fucking kill myself. I, I you, fucking I, hate. It. Last night was not fun at all. I thought you were injuring yourself. No, I'm. I am. I am now. Uh, yeah. I thought you were excited. Uh, you're like going at it. Well, okay. So first of all, Red Charlotte always has this very, very monotone, <laughs> uh, a voice when she's like discussing anything, right? So I'm not exactly sure. What she no, I, I'm actually see. I I actually like. I I I like. I want to try talking to Fnatic again, but like in, in a more like uh, controlled environment. But I really that was I fucking hated. I was I like I detest what happened last night. I'm like absolutely disgusted. Uh, okay. Well, Listen, sorry. I don't know anything about the details of it, but multiple people in my chat are telling me that it was a shit show. So I'm gonna say. I'm I'm sorry for your loss or your That's victory. One fun. of the two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry that that happened, or I'm I'm happy for you, or whatever. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, hopefully tonight uh, will be better. Um, and we'll ask Feline Father about that. Feline, are you gonna be uh, not a shithead? It was yesterday. Oh. Maybe we can react to it or something. I don't know. High well, hey, you know, We're gonna do fun stuff hey, after this. Hey, you know so. what? I had my Wheaties this morning, uh, so no, I don't plan to be a shithead. Um, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. Excited to be here, man. Like, really good. Like. <laughs> This my shit, like the COVID, love it. Yeah, last uh, night so I I'm think like, super Wendell excited be. to get down to it and talk about it. Yeah, yeah fanatic is mean, mm -hmm. but hey. Uh, and 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 uh, on a serious note, we do enjoy having a feline father here. We're really glad they just had to participate and share his insights on this particular subject. Thank you, feline father. Um, uh, next, sure. yeah, of course. Next, demon mama, dear mama. Uh, special guest. We don't have her here uh, so often, though. Uh, I would love to change that. Demon mama is always. Um, a welcome person around here, and uh, always fun to have, right? Always, always know it's, things are going to escalate when our friend Demon Mom is around. Uh, so, Demon Mama, thank you for being here. Tell us a little about yourself. Yeah, absolutely. My name is Demon Mama. I'm a political edutainer here on Twitch and YouTube. You can find me most easily on my website, demonmama.com, which has all my links, including my links to my fucking awesome if i don't say so myself discord which is kept alive by my amazing amazing team and myself um and uh yeah we talk about all kinds of stuff today we did two really really big topics so today's vod is going to be a banger um you know check me out if you think what i do is good um i would be happy to come back on here unfortunately i keep getting invited to the rumble but that's on saturday and i gotta have time to sleep so get me on that monday show and i'll I'll be on. Okay. Oh, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Not nah, honestly though. I've always loved being a part of your show, Prime. Always happy to be here. Thank you so much for the invite today. Looking forward to having a conversation with everybody. Awesome. Yeah. Same here. Okay. Next, um, we will go to it's a metaphor. Metaphor. Uh, one of my amazing mods. All the best of people here are mods. Um, but uh, metaphor. Thank you for coming through. Um, we've had a conversation about this before. It was a lot of fun. I want to continue on with it, and I definitely needed to invite you back. Uh, metaphor, please tell a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm not a streamer, so but uh, I'm here to have fun and talk about stuff. Uh, I have been in QC and QA for a number of years in various different industries, including uh, food, oh yeah, Friday, uh, okay. counter Look drugs, and uh, nutritional supplements. I'm have a degree in microbiology and I currently work as a chemist for pharmaceutical research and development. So I've been pretty knee deep in this industry for like a really long time and I'm excited Hello, Kobe. To, uh, to talk about it. Okay, thank you so much. Next, uh, Kobe. Kobe uh, is here uh, just barely, but he is here. <laughs> Our friend uh, 
uh, Kobe, another one of our great mods. I didn't hear about that. Um, Pepe Kobe, Le um, I wanted to be a part of this, and I'm always happy to include uh, him. He um, always brings the knowledge, and yeah, he's let me, always, let me, uh, let me get back know, to tonight. I, I just love his perspective and the way he presents himself. So, Kobe, thanks for being around. Yeah, thank you so much for having me on. Um, I find this to be a very interesting t discussion to think that this is a, at an intersection of uh, some of the stuff I'm really interested in, which is like a political economy. Like, how do we, how does the uh, the way that we distribute the resources of a society affect the sort of day to day politics of a society? And on top of that, um, I'm really interested in specifically. Uh, I'm pretty interested in Indian politics. I actually think that India is a pretty interesting place, India and Pakistan. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that the BJP is a is a one of the one of the archdukes of hell and one of the most evil parties on planet Earth. And I think Fair that enough. Modi is one of the biggest monsters on Earth. Agreed. I think that, uh, Agreed. It is like so Fascist. incredibly like uh, uh, what's it called convenient that, uh, that, that that like the discussion has been around Amer American companies and not the unilateral failure on the part of Bolsonaro, Modi, and various other. There's like I can't think of anybody. Various other leaders in the developing world uh, that have completely uh, thrown their uh, people to the wolves. But I think there's a lot of uh, good points being made on the other side. We will and, talk about uh, I would like to have my mind changed on this. Mm -hmm. I would like to figure out a way to distribute the resource, the vaccine, the most, the safe, the safest possible vaccine to the most possible people in the quickest amount of time. That's my, that's my thing. If that means getting rid of vaccine IP laws. Oh, okay, I didn't know we were doing. From my research, it doesn't seem like that is going to affect the problem we have, but we can get into that. Thanks so much. During okay. the walk on. Okay. Um, yeah, late panels are wild. Now there are my mods. I'm going to gush one more time. Oh my God, it's Sharpie. Uh, <laughs> uh, my friend uh, Sharpie <laughs> is here um, joining us. Uh, By the way, imps. About, uh, with this, no uh, parasocial, but I love you guys um, so much. And yeah, I love my imps so goddamn much. Always, even whether I agree with them or not, I always enjoy having uh, these deep discussions with them. So, I love Sharpie, my imps please, so goddamn much. Tell the world about yourself, your handsome self. <laughs> I'm glad that I hid my face reveals for so long. I mean, it, it wouldn't have been this hyped if I'd done it six months ago. Uh, no, oh, anyways, maybe it would have uh, been. I'm, I'm Sharpie. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Pisco95. That's primarily <laughs> where I spend most of my time. I'm not a streamer. You can find me in chat too, but if you find me in a chat, the majority of the time I'll probably be in Pisco's chat. Um, no, I, uh, I, I work in the medical industry. I work for a top five uh, medical hospital in the U.S., uh, been with them for um, five years now, and I've worked. In yeah, the community is really years. amazing. Um, I love that you all take I care of each other. That's in, the only um, way a community works. Clinical trials and activating clinical trials at our hospital. So, um, have a little bit of background there. Look forward to the conversation. Okay. All right. Um, so this discussion uh, is on um, whether these companies should have exclusive rights uh, to these vaccines, um, whether that's a hindrance. Uh, to its distribution, um, and uh, what like what is one or the other? What is the best way to help increase a distribution of the vaccines? Right, because I think everyone here would agree that we have a problem at this point in time. I don't think I will get any disagreements there. Um, but on the best way to go forward, uh, I think we have a bit of a. Um, oh, that's where the uh, <clears throat> debate will lie. Um, my side uh, is uh, includes me myself, uh, Red Charlotte, and Demon Mama. Uh, the losing team uh, includes a uh, feline uh, father, uh, Kobe. Uh, hey, it's a why metaphor you for Sharpie. <laughs> then, uh, uh, oh, it's nice to meet you, uh, buddy. Um, good yeah, start. Uh, Fire so, it uh, off. I'll we'll maybe do int introductions each person, right? Um, like just a minute, a long introduction, and we'll move on. Uh, we'll start with the other side. Uh, so feline father. Yep. Yeah. Hey, hey everybody. Uh, feline father here. Uh, so I do a lot of COVID. I do a lot of COVID nineteen based content here. Uh, I've been covering uh, the pandemic uh, for about almost a year now. Um, I am on the ass in my microbiology degree, um, and I'm planning on studying the human microbiome in the future. Um, a lot of what I've been doing is I've been trying to insert myself into right wing and like uh, fringe ideology groups to try and like convert them, try and talk them down and cook right. Um, you know, uh, in the beginning, it was running great uh, because I had my time. I had, I had, I wasn't, it wasn't pressed, right? I was able to talk to them for days and months and months and weeks, right? And I was able to convince some people. Uh, but now we're at a point where it's like seconds are mat seconds matter now. Uh, like literally, people are dying every second. Um, and I'm here today to try and advocate for pro IP, right? Um, because I'm trying to clear the clear the discourse, right? Clear the discourse of COVID nineteen, right? To make way for the you know the, the the discussion that we need to have now to like better help those that are dying today mm -hmm. um you know i, I i'm pro IP, good question not hannah thing like i don't know the answer to that ideology i'm uh, just here for the ride more from the frame of like 
wanting to do what the best we can right now because uh, right now it's an emergency you know and we don't have time to do that you know open it up and we don't have time to like mess with it like with the systems we have right now is the best way forward to save the most amount of people thanks so much all right uh red charlotte please uh gotta get my yeah, notes I'm, ready I'm... <laughs> I don't think that companies uh, should be able to have like a monopoly on life-saving drugs, especially when many countries around the world have the industrial capacity to simply make vaccines. And like I've read something uh, that India has the capacity to like literally make like two billion doses in one year. Um, like whether whether Modi is stopping that is a different argument to whether or not uh, like the vaccine companies are also equally liable for not like just giving the the formula to local like manufacturers and distributors across the world as if uh, they don't have their own FDAs and like safety regulations. Thank you so much. Uh, next, Kobe. Um, yeah, I would like to, um, I think a lot of these discussions can kind of go in circles because sometimes it can be difficult. Agreed, Hannah. Um, it can be like a sunken, sunken cost fallacy. You can be difficult to like lay out like what would need to change your opinion. So, like I said, I kind of have like my three main things, uh, like the most safe vaccine that we can ensure to the most amount of people in the quickest amount of time. That's basically it. I'm looking into it. It seems as if the things that are really holding it up is the, the ability to actually produce the vaccine, not and which which is a lot harder than I think like a lot of people imagine. It's not just the recipe. It's like having the equipment. It's having the people people that work that equipment and on top of that it's having all the various other like crafting ingredients that you need to make the uh, final vaccine uh, the mRNA, crafting mrna thing is like a medical miracle and it is a new thing and hopefully it's going to save a lot of lives and going forward but as but we have to build up that tech we have to build up that reservoir of, of industrialization first and we just don't have that unfortunately because of colonialism a lot of these countries india and brazil uh be, being in south africa which are three countries that have had the biggest problem with this being three of them well, these were all Munchies underdeveloped food? countries. When, uh, they, when they were industrialized, they were not industrialized. Like Switzerland or France like Chinese or Germany or America was industrialized. Where we industrialized with all it's these my favorite advanced Munchies technologies. Food. They don't. They have very, very crude, Delicious. Many, many countries, very, very crude uh, infrastructure. And, uh, you know, that's the thing. It seems as if, from my looking, it's, or from, from my looking, from my research, it seems as if uh, the real thing that we should be focusing on is America and other countries uh, hyping up or getting up our export exportation numbers we need to be giving out vaccines we can do this i think that's what we really if we want to focus on my three pillars that's what we should be doing so okay um we'll go back and forth between the two sides so we'll go to dear mama next yeah um i've talked about this issue a lot in uh recent weeks um and uh while i will agree with people who will say that the ip is not the preeminent concern i do believe it is a concern that we should take seriously um there is a multiple uh reasons why we should consider waiving things like ips on life-saving vaccines that are combating a pa a patent uh, or that are combat uh, combating a, a uh, sorry a, a pandemic um, and one of the reasons, and I think this is probably the best reason, that is a show of good faith. It means that no nation on the planet has to worry about potentially facing a, a lawsuit from a multinational corporation. We have done this in the past, such as with the polio vaccine. And hey, wow, you know, it turns out that part of that process helped us basically eliminate polio from the planet. Um, I think that there is a lot of unfortunate and often unintentional um, sort of American supremacy in the idea that like only we have the capability to produce an mRNA vaccine when it wasn't even originally done by us. Um, we've just created a couple of stable versions that are particularly good. Um, and I think that we should be getting on board as many countries as possible, even if immediately waiving the, the IP doesn't instantly re uh, add multiple, um, you know, you know, uh, supplies of this vaccine to other countries. I think it's very important that we start the gears turning so that these countries can get their production on the road as fast as possible and so that we can prepare for future pandemics, which are inevitably going to come with the state of, uh, of uh, health around the world. I also think that we should take a proactive approach, that we should take vaccines and, and global health initiatives very seriously and give out to other countries with no questions asked, universalized guides, universalized formulas, and universalized inspection standards that countries can use as a starting point to build their own um, you know industries if they don't have them already. This would go 
so far to changing the way that we approach global health um, that I don't think that many of us can even imagine what that type of world would look like. So I support very much the waiving of these uh, these sort of IP protections, both as an act of good faith and because it takes power out of the hands of the corporations who have no right to have a a, a total monopoly over even their own proprietary um, recipe for a life-saving medication that combats a global pandemic. So that's my position. Thanks so much. Metaphor. Okay, so I wrote something real quick, so I'll read that and then make a couple comments mm -hmm. off the cup. So if you don't like this, it doesn't get any better. Um, so COVID vaccine IP should not be waived. This is, a, not, this is not a solution to the current problem. It serves only to distract people from real solutions. Waiving IP for COVID vaccines will at best do nothing and at worst cause demonstrable harm to the world. Oh, totally. This harm will manifest in many ways, but the three primary ways it will present itself are as follows. One, this will lead to an increase in the amount, the amounts of ineffective, dangerous, and or counterfeit COVID vaccines around the world. Uh, two, already stressed supply lines and limited raw materials for vaccine production will cause uh, production worldwide to slow as inexperienced and ineffective manufacturers reach their hands into the pot. Third, reduced effective vaccine supply will create mutation hotspots where COVID will mutate the new strains, rendering more and more of our current vaccines useless while simultaneously removing the incentives for industry to develop new vaccines. I think a much stronger option which we should employ is for developed countries to fund manufacturers that already exist across the globe to ramp up our existing production. It may cost more money, but studies have found this to be much more efficient. Uh, we should be pushing for more funding for the WHO so that they can coordinate with pharmaceutical companies and set up new manufacturing facilities in these developing countries and train new personnel under their oversight, uh, which is something that they're already working to do and are already collaborating with many of the pharmaceutical companies right now. And if our eventual goal is to get the whole world vaccinated as quickly and safely as possible, this is how we accomplish that goal. This is what I have written. I just want to remind everybody a few things real quick. Um, companies are going to manufacture the vaccine regardless of IP or not. So this is this notion that like removing IPs are going to stop companies from making it. Uh, this isn't true. Wait, it, oh, companies that. are always going to be stepping in regardless of whether that comes from a gener generic version or uh, not. Uh, second, America is not the arbiter of COVID vaccines. Out of the 10 active COVID vaccines, we only have ownership over uh, two and a half, I believe. Um, also, the first mRNA vaccine was Moderna, and it was produced by the U.S. Sputnik came after Moderna, and it was not an mRNA vaccine. Wasn't Moderna created by uh, Germany? Yeah. Um, well, I guess I'll go from my side. <clears throat> um, yeah, so I, I followed my, most of what uh, Timmy Mom said, um, that these intellectual property rights um, are detrimental uh, to expanding um, our ability to uh, uh, perform uh, to manufacture this, right? Um, that it doesn't actually uh, damage supply lines. Um, uh, I think most of that is propaganda put out by the Gates Foundation. Somebody give Bill me a Gates, link for what the first um, one was. a monster uh, <laughs> who has stood in the way of open source technologies literally his entire life. And now he's doing so in this uh, realm. Um, it looks like his uh, foundation yep. has a hat and about face very recently, like four, a few days ago, um, but just his career has been all about uh, stopping um, or, or keeping in place a monopolistic framework, right? And whatever industry he happens to put his hands in. Yeah, that's true. So I think that's a problem. I think we should move away from that model. Sharpie, please. Sure. So um, I agree with most of what Metaphor said. So the reality here is that if we were to suddenly get rid of intellectual property for these COVID vaccines, it would only create a larger problem than we are already experiencing. So the biggest thing uh, that we're going to take away from this entire debate that I want you to take away, Chad, is that the reality is right now we do have a very finite amount of resources. Um, all of these, both the mRNA vaccines you, and a lot of different um, raw materials. Those materials are very limited. We're already having problems with supply of these. It's not, uh, it, there is not an infinite supply. And the reality is that if we got rid of intellectual property and allowed literally anyone who wanted to, to make these vaccines, uh, part of the problem that you would have then is that legitimately we would have a lot of manufacturers that aren't really ready to make these vaccines starting to order um, products that they can't really utilize. So these materials that are so necessary for Pfizer and Moderna right now to produce their mRNA vaccines Thank you. suddenly would really become way it. way more scarce, way more less readily available. And they'd be going to in individuals that don't know how to use them, that don't 
uh, having the ability to make the vaccine stupid. at the same level. This is a stupid I mean, argument. Here's the reality is that if we look at our vaccines or we look at Moderna and Pfizer and compare them to uh, most of the vaccines that have been produced in other countries, especially if you compare them, for instance, to like China, the reality is that our vaccines just are way more safe and way more effective than any other country's vaccines. And so um, what what the Western world really wasn't J and J, the only American one, this because suddenly if we turn around and give this um, give away all of our materials to individuals that have supposedly other capacity, uh, but don't have any experience working with them and don't have any way to verify that they're going to make an effective product. All you're going to do is flood the market with more vaccines that are similar to what's being created in China right now, which are not very efficacious. And then we just don't have the ability in many of these countries. Their argument contradicts the themselves to do adequate testing on the manufactured vaccines that come out of their facilities. So we're not going to know what the effectiveness of their vaccine is. So, for instance, you could ship the formula for the Moderna vaccine to a poor country in South Africa that maybe has what you would say manufacturing capacity. But um, the vaccine ultimately th that they end up producing may be 30 percent, 20 percent effective instead of 90, 100 percent effective like our vaccines currently are in the 95 percent effectiveness range. And so the reality is that you don't really want a country having a vaccine that's not effective, thinking that, oh, this is great. We're now all vaccinated. We don't need to worry about the pandemic anymore. And meanwhile, COVID is spreading because it's only a 30 or 40 percent effective vaccine. So these are all risks that we'll have to talk about tonight. Okay. All right. Um, so just before we jump into it, like, uh, uh, we're all uh, pros at this, right? We've all been around the block. Uh, let's uh, try to keep things civil here, uh, gentlemen and ladies. Uh, and uh, yeah, so we'll continue on from there. All right. So thank you. All right. Let's go uh, Red Charles, then um, Kobe. Uh, yeah, you said something about like the Chinese vaccine. And from what I know, the Chinese vaccine is just as effective as the, the, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccine. It has a 95% effective rate. Um, as far as far as I know, you, you might have something or 94%, my bad, 94%. So 1% one, 1 less effective than Moderna. Um, and like, I, I would rather like uh, the United States be able to take credit as a hegemon over China for like providing the world uh, mass vaccination. Um, and also like these foreign countries do have the industrial capacity to produce vaccines if they're provided like the materials and the like blueprints and like countries like India, et cetera, these countries do have regulatory capacity. And I, I think it's really weird to imply that they don't because, because they do produce their own vaccines from time to time anyway. Let's go to so it's Kobe. not like they're, po they're not like they're like poisoning people. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, let's go to uh, Kobe, Demon Mama, um, For sure. then, uh, so, Metaphor and Feline. Cursory Google search uh, from March from Reuters says, according to effectancy trials from Brazil, Turkey, and uh, Indonesia, Sinovac vaccine shows an efficacy rate between 50 and 83%. So no, it doesn't seem like that. Um, I would also under, I, I'm looking in the chat and I noticed something that I was thinking, thinking about at work last night. Somebody says, somebody said in Demon Mama's chat earlier up the, about how like um, IP laws are really bad for art. And that's what I thought about. I think a lot of people are coming to this to conversation with like the frame of like IP laws with art, which I would agree. IP laws and art are fucking stupid, right? Like the fact that Mickey Mouse is still owned by uh, Disney is stupid, but we're now going into a very complicated subject of like vaccine production. Many people in the chat are saying things like, oh, well, if it, how, how, why is it so complicated? If it's so complicated, then we couldn't produce it in the United States. But this just shows, I mean, again, like I was not educated on this either until I started re researching this, but like this just shows a, a lack of education about the deep complexity of producing vaccines, the deep, and specifically the deep complexity of use of All the right, mRNA go. vaccine. I'm going in Which hard. I was wrong. It's not the first vaccine. Get I ready. Say that I was incorrect. There have been a couple other things that have been used. But it is extremely Watch new. It's this. less than like, we've not been using this for less than like a decade. Uh, and uh, yeah, like, uh, I don't know. Like, I feel like there's a, like, we're already get, kind of getting off into a little, little bit of a bad track. Um, oh, as you, for. Hold on. Right. I, sorry. Oh. Somebody in chat. Cotton D pad. I love you. I love chat. Cotton D -pad. It's not. You, you pay attention wonderful. to the panel, not to the chat. Okay. Get the That's fuck eyes point. out of, out of, eyes out of chat. Pro streamers. Let's get. Let's making, come on. Let's focus. Like, I, I just want to make a correction real quick, Kobe. Kobe, I want to make one correction real quick. You said the fifth. Yes. That number is from like the like uh, the clinical trials from before, like the state, like clinical, like late stage trials, but like. Newer studies about the Chinese vaccine show that it has a higher effectiveness than thought before. So the number you're citing, the 50 to 80 percent, was what was thought before, but the 94 well, percent is what is now can like. Yeah, 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 I'm looking. So like, I got Washington Post from well, April saying 79 percent. So I mean, yeah, this, this, this article, this article is from 20 hours ago. 
This yeah, article from twenty hours ago. Yeah, just just pop it in Prime Chat. Ev everyone, oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, v no, VC Chat, VC Chat. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Put it, put it all, in, everything in VC Chat. Everyone, I have the Discord, the thriving heart of my community. Ah. So, uh, pop into my Discord if you want to follow along. We we'll putting things in the channel, uh, VC Chat, exclamation point Discord, uh, in my uh, chat. Let you uh, know how to get there. Please, please, please stop by there. Okay. Um, so we'll go to Demon Mama, and then I, I already had you in line, buddy. Demon Mama. Okay, sorry. Um, and then uh, metaphor, then feline. Okay. So, um, you know, what I've seen so far is uh, basically what I've encountered in this conversation a lot, which is vague scaremongering using often literally invented statistics like, oh, there's like a 30% immutation chance where just I'd love a citation. I'd love a citation for on the mutations, but I highly doubt that you have that. I've not seen anything about the risk of mutations from so-called fake bad vaccines and whatnot. Um, however, if you have that sort of information, that'd be super interesting. However, I don't think that vague scaremongering is a particularly good tactic, especially when it when it like literally contradicts the basic facts about the situation. No one is exper experienced making mRNA vaccines. This is a brand new thing. So it's not like America is like somehow the gods of the are of the of the of the only people on earth who possess the secret knowledge of mrna production now they may have gotten the first stable one but this is a technology that's being worked on all over the globe and a small discovery can lead to all of these other places that may not have had that small discovery now being able to utilize that discovery with their currently existing scientists to you know fight the global pandemic that we're dealing with this is something that um is 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 i've encountered a lot and i think that people don't really understand what what the purpose of a of a good faith um waving of ip is in this case and also how ip can stand in the way keep in mind that when you have uh when you have open ip law that allows a company to potentially sue you that has a freezing effect on production that has a freezing effect on research because if you want to produce that thing you could be sued if you're discovered so you a lot of people will not attempt it at all or they will work in another angle trying to find their own so that they have a way in i don't think that we should bend our entire world health approach to the desires of a couple of companies that have a vested interest in locking off the um the the vaccine so that they can control the future of of uh, of a vaccine all over the planet i think that's a very silly um approach i also don't uh, buy the idea that safety or or ingredients or anything along those lines have anything to do with IP. Now, if you want to talk about other things, if you want to talk about those independent issues, that's great, but they have nothing to do with IP. Um, a, a company, a country's ability to investigate its own factories has nothing to do with IP law. It only has to do with whether they're going to be allowed to do that without getting sued and whether they're going to have to fight with the American government over that IP law. And that's why I think it's important that we uh, that we release these IPs as a, an act of good faith in the name of global health so yeah um i think that addresses most of the empty fear mongering that's gone on on this panel so far okay so we'll go to metaphor feline i'll put myself in line after that uh anyone else want to jump in um okay uh kobe all right sure all right metaphor please um i don't think that this is empty fear mongering uh, i'm gonna leave it up to feline to drop most of the stats about mutations we know that sure. this stuff happens it's pretty common sense when you have a population that has <clears throat> resistance or some amount of resistance alongside a population that doesn't and you allow free travel of infection across these two populations it incites mutations this is pretty common knowledge in the microbiology and virology worlds yes um this and i think again, that has nothing to do with vaccine US, and i don't really understand why um for instance uh i'm guessing we're mostly talking about the two vaccines moderna and pfizer now pfizer is dual owned by germany's BioNTech and pfizer in the united states we mm -hmm. are not sole owners moderna is the only one that we have sole ownership over um which again harkens to this idea of what you said that mrna is being researched everywhere you're right it is and all the countries that have been researching it and have developed vaccines for it don't want to release ip so well, like they should all the too. developed countries the simple do. simple and, problem um, they should too this, Wouldn't uh, it be this based potential, if American companies this were, like, were for, better than China? Um, I'm just gonna keep talking. So this idea that there's like good faith like IP wavings is uh is is not necessarily true. If you release all IPs, you create Polio. a hellscape. Uh, oh, you let, release, let it, let it um, finish, please. Polio actually got picked up by a private company and they profited massively after after the developer who died destitute and uh, didn't want to patent it. So, and that's um, supposed to be an argument against waivings. us. In in good 
that says nothing about the there, there, there's a, there's a hellscape mm. world in which there's no ip laws and nobody develops anything and everybody just fear waits around um and nobody makes anything you just did empty uh, fear mongering again. Uh, just uh, just, just uh, pointing out, you they... just did empty right, fear mongering. Let, 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 please, everyone, 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 please, 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 please. Um, let, let our good friend metaphor. Let it. Let our good friend metaphor finish, please. I don't remember chiming in a simple a single yeah. time. Okay. All right, when sure. anybody else was talking. Met mess. Yeah. Like once again, let metaphor finish. Releasing IPs does nothing. I know you, you've brought this up a couple times in your debates, how material supplies have nothing to do with IP laws, but I don't understand how you're missing the connection between the fact that if IP laws are, are gone, you're going to have more manufacturing companies and more manufacturing people all competing for the same limited material supply, which is we're going to reduce production everywhere. It also takes significant amounts of time to set up new facilities. We have multiple sources for this stuff. We can post it all in chat as well. Okay. So, um, I'm just so... going to I'm just going to move on. But uh we'll I'll send it to Feline now cuz it is his turn and not Red Charlotte or Demu Mama's turn. Okay. <laughs> so we'll go to uh well so again uh just so you know Ooh. we'll go to Feline father myself and then we'll go to Kobe. <clears throat> and also skin line, let me know. Right. Y'all probably just saw me I'm super excited to dance around cuz like I've been studying this for like the last 9 months, right? Uh and oh, I have all your answers, right? In chat, right? In the in the VC chat, I dropped a uh a like a list of all of my bookmarks right that i've been collating and collecting the, through me and my community over the last like nine or ten months right that okay. i'm telling you in every single like i have every single database resource that you would possibly need to understand mutations to understand the movement of the virus to understand vaccines to understand the ip laws to understand phase one phase two phase three trials to understand where it came from to understand every single piece of like your reagent that goes into that vaccine where it's developed what company controls that IP and just how, like, very rare they are, right? Um, now, in, in, in regards to like statistics, in regards to like, yo, these bottlenecks that are possibly going to be created, right? Um, I have, I, I'll drop, drop this in the chat too. Um, the uh, uh, world, uh, the the World Bank, right? Did a, uh, a did a did a look into this, right? Um, and let's see here. So it's called the How to End the COVID nineteen Pandemic by March twenty twenty two. Right. Uh, this is a this is a policy research working paper that was developed in April that was published April 2021, and they outline like every answer, every question, and every answer you could possibly need. Right. And there's a section in here that is uh, the exact answer that you were looking for in regards to the uh, the, the scarcity of the materials. Right. Uh, there's the the demand uncertainty and under development in to activate production capacity. Right. There's the the um, shortage of raw materials and export restrictions. Right. Um, and I, and then the, also I just want to say like the the fact that you guys are comparing the mRNA vaccination and the um the, you know uh, the adenovirus mediated vaccine platform to standard vaccines as in like a, an attenuated virus the flu virus just shows your ignorance on this topic right I make this very very clear right so did this anybody is do the that newest technology this is like the the new hotness on the fucking block. And like at the minute that this got approved on phase three, they hit the ground running. They hit the ground running. All the producers of the of the, of the materials hit the ground running, and they've all been going twenty four seven nonstop since, right? And so like to, to like like to think that like they could just, just retrofit a like a, a, any kind of like uh, assembly line to produce these, you don't understand, right? These require expertise at the levels of PhDs, masters, right, to actually make sure these things are correct, right? Um, the very reagent, the, 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 the supplies that. to make the reagents to make the vaccines are rare and hard to make, right? Like, this is not just like a, like making like a, a shape, right? But this is like a, the, the, this is the most sophisticated, like, vaccine technology on the planet that we're ever going to have, right? And now, I would say that, you know, yes, like, in the future, like, I would love for, like, these IP laws and for these, like, these, like, you know, intellectual properties to be more open. But that is just not the reality of the world right now. If we were to do this, I am telling you right now, with full certainty, right, we will kill more people because we will not be able to produce more vaccines, right? You're laughing, but I'm looking at the statistics right in front of my face, right? And I also want to make this also very clear for everyone here, right? I'm not interested in doing the, like disingenuous performative bullshit, right? Because this is the most important topic in my fucking life, right? When every second it matters. Every second we fucking like like we continue this discourse and we don't go on like go online and do the things that actually matter, people are dying, okay? So like, 
you know, um, so like, you, you said you didn't, you said you didn't want to do any performative bullshit, and then you went on a giant, a giant performative posturing. That's I'm not, mad. That's I'm actually, everyone, 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 let Feline like, Father continue. Angry, I, I, right? I, I, uh, we can we can respond to him as soon as he's done. Feline, please continue. Right. Sorry. So and then also make this very clear, right? Those like those percentages in regards to, like Sinovacs, right? For efficacy percentages, when a when a when a when a vaccine is having like conflicting efficacy percentages, right? The reason being is when they test that vaccine in the different like like where control groups, they're in different viral landscapes, right? So, for instance, if they're doing a phase three in, like, China, right, and it has a certain efficacy percentage, well, if they did, like, another thing over in, like, Brazil, well, there's a totally different variant of the virus over there. So, yes, it's going to have a different efficacy percentage, right? You need to look at them both, and they're, they're like, they're both valid at the same time. It's all, it all is in, like, in relation to, like, where that study was conducted, right? Um, in relation to, like, mutant mutations and, like, different I know, variants, I, I promise you it's happening, um, and I promise you they're becoming an issue, right? Um, if we don't get like the world vaccinated as quickly as possible with the most efficient way, which by the way is keeping the IPs in place, then we're gonna we are going to further allow mutations to cultivate, right? Because there is a very real problem of people who are pseudo vaccinated, of like like half vaccinated because they have built they're like waiting too long between their first dose and second dose. And those are the perfect environments to cultivate new dangerous mutations on top of these new variants, right? Like we need to get these people fully vaccinated as soon as possible. Okay. Um, okay. So, uh, oh, Sharpie, I'll put you in line. Uh, so it'll be, um, I'll on, let me take a look at the notes. Uh, it'll be uh, me, Kobe, Demon, um, and then we'll put Sharpie. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, so I'll, I'll respond. Um, so first of all, uh, I think that was a lot of performative bullshit right there. Um, I won't be uh, intimidated by those uh, scare tactics, right? Like, oh, no. like, first of all, we understand, we all understand the seriousness of the situation, right? No one needs to be told how serious the situation is. We're all like uh, left, well, no, we're not all lefties here. <laughs> we're mostly lefties here. But in any case, but one other, shot. every single one of us, uh, none of us is like an anti-vaxxer or, or anything like that, right? Like, we're all on the same team that we want to get the um, vaccine out uh, to as many people as we can. Um, and as soon as we can, right? So we're all on the same team there, right? Um, but we don't have to deal with the, the scaremongering. Like, oh, if we're talking about this, right? All the moments he's been talking about a different um, intellectual property scheme, like people were dying. Okay, so one has nothing to do with the other, right? So we're done with that. Um, uh, then uh, beyond that, so uh, what uh, our, uh, our friends on the other side have been saying is that, well, there is a limited amount of supply of ingredients, right? Fair enough, I think that's like, Pretty intuitive, right? These things aren't unlimited. All right, great, sure. Um, um, but but uh, their answer is well, since because there's a limited amount, since there's a limited amount, well, it, why don't we just keep it at uh, the uh, drug manufacturers in our countries, right? Like, I mean, it just kind of makes sense, right? Like, why don't we just hold on to this? We'll keep them all safe, right? And we'll like we'll handle it. Like, we'll give you those uh, um, doses as soon as we can. We're on it any second now, any day. Yeah. Here's the problem. So even if everything they said is absolutely correct, right? Even if you give them that, that's absolutely correct. Um, that uh, there's limited amount and there's like this massive a shortage. That doesn't mean that uh, putting it in the hands of American and European country, uh, countries, right, and companies, um, means that we'll have an equitable distribution. And in fact, we are not having equitable distribution. That's why we're here. That's why we're talking about this in the very first place, right? So we yep. could, we could instead decide, well, we'll share this technology, um, share the ability to do it, uh, uh, share supply lines, right, and and try to do some sort of a, a, a better distribution with countries, uh, with companies that uh, might um, prioritize. Uh, lower low income and middle income nations, right? So that's where I put that. Um, so uh, I have, and I'll put this uh, in uh, in VC chat in a second. Um, there is okay. Uh, one source uh, talks about um, the amount of doses uh, that have been given, right? So uh, as of this writing, and this this article, and again, I'll put it in uh, VC chat soon. Um, as of this writing, in early April, fewer than six hundred million vaccine doses have been administered around the world. Three quarters of those in just ten mostly high income countries. Close to one hundred thirty countries containing two point five billion people have yet to administer a single dose. Not fucking one. Not fucking one. 
um, mm -hmm. the timeline for supplying poor middle income uh, countries. I'm getting uh, heated by myself, not at not these guys. I'm just getting heated about the situation, not, not at these uh, fine gentlemen. Um, uh, to provide a bill event, have yet to be administered a single dose. Uh, the timeline for supplying poor and middle income countries uh, with enough vaccines to achieve herd immunity, meanwhile, has been pushed into 2024. Uh, so uh, part of this, right, so what my opponents will eventually uh, bring up is COVAX, right? So COVAX is a scheme. Um, that uh, countries will, of uh, richer nations, will uh, share doses eventually, someday maybe, uh, with these smaller uh, companies, right? Uh, countries. Uh, this YouTube's is the, having uh, trouble uh, scheme today. Damn. By, uh, the uh, patent troll Bill Gates. Um, uh, so uh, this this scheme has uh, failed at its its mandate, right? Um, and at best, right? YouTube's um, having trouble. Uh, so uh, Covax proposed to subsidize vaccines. Sorry, everybody. YouTube's having some trouble. Through donations by and sales to. Richer ones. It's not my. It's the not on my end. Was, it's on YouTube. I'm putting an article and again. I'll put that in VC chat in just a moment. Uh, the goal was always limited. It aimed to provide vaccines for up to 20 percent of the population and low to middle in income countries. After that, governments would largely have to compete on the gold market like everyone else. So even uh, uh, at its uh, best, this Covax scheme that's brought, been brought up many times before um, would only uh, 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 aim to vaccinate like the. Uh, I think it was the, the priority uh, one fifth, is what my understanding of uh, what they're called. Uh, priority fifth. Um, and it hasn't and hasn't produced. It hasn't produced uh, up to scale yet. Hopefully it does in the future. If this is what we're stuck with, I, I would like it to succeed. So far it hasn't. Um, but again, I'll put that uh, link in, in the chat. Um, so uh, yeah, my, my overall is that, um, oh, and, and, and finally about uh, one last thing. Uh, about this nonsense about other countries not being able to do this. Well, other countries have been uh, producing uh, uh, drugs, right? Producing drugs used by uh, you Americans, you Canadians, uh, you uh, individuals in rich uh, nations. Um, those drugs, uh, they uh, there are companies around the world that have been actually uh, true. Ross. If you ask those uh, manufacturers, you, you go there and talk to them. Hey, they say they can do it. So, for instance, uh, there is um, Incepta. Uh, Incepta. Let me see if I can. And SEPTA and Bangladesh can fill 600 to 800 million doses of vaccine uh, per year. And that's another link. I'll put that in chat as well. Uh, again, just just a moment. Um, and then, but it's not just... Uh, uh, Sorry about YouTube, everybody. Not, not just manufacturers and poor natures, right? There's also one in, in Canada that's been uh, pushing, right, for uh, IP waivers. Um, and uh, they uh, said um, that... Uh, they can uh, produce like uh, 20... Um, yeah, YouTube's so, having uh, issues. These, uh, ...vaccines per year. They've um, never produced a vaccine before. I know they haven't produced a vaccine, but that doesn't mean that they uh, cannot produce a vaccine, right? If they have saying, unless you know their manufacturing uh, process, right? Unless you, G and G uh, is uh, already working so, with multiple on, vaccine on, producers, on, 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 and they on, on, inspected second. their plants and said that they couldn't do it, so and then they gave contracting rights to hundreds of other plants. Metaphor has joined the ranks of Red Shell and Demon Mama for interrupting people. Great. Uh, so now we're all on the same page. We're all, great. So, um, <laughs> um, one of us, one of us. All right. So. Um, uh, this, uh, yes, the, that one in particular, that Canada one, uh, Twitch suppresses embed, so we can't put Twitch on the website. Other drugs, right? And they are saying the that they are able to, uh, oh, wow, one drug, not, not the same as the other it's drug. It's not a Dorito oh, company, it's wow. a Lay's exactly. company. The one what process the isn't exactly the same as the other process. It's not even exactly thank the you, same. Thank They're you. Totally is this your medical, different. is this the medical knowledge that you've, uh, uh, um, yeah. gained over these uh, so many years that one yeah. process isn't exactly the same it, as the other one it is. and that and that a, a, a factory would have to be retrofitted retrofitted um uh so that they can uh, uh begin this begin time. this process right so hold on hold on but the, and then there was, uh, thank you for for reminding me of this thing about time right well, well it's going to take time to do it okay well let's get started well, let's get started right oh it's going to take time well if these people uh, uh um uh, companies have the ability to get started without facing legal consequences, right? Uh, to jump into this uh, situation. Well, then let's get them started. I know how to do on, it. It's uh, just on, on this very right difficult. This All right. So. so I yield my time. Um, we'll go to, uh, well, sorry, let me look at my Kobe. notes again. Um, it is uh, Kobe, Demon, Sharpie. Yeah. Oh, if you like. All right. I'll put you in there. Sure. So I have a ver a various things I want to I want to address here. So it's going to be a little bit, but I also want to start by saying I love you all. Okay, let's try to like address the points that have been made. Okay, I, I don't care about Bill Gates. Fuck Bill Gates. I don't care. I don't I don't think about him. He's a, he's nothing to me. Okay, I, I think that we got to address like what the scientists and shit like this. Say. Okay, so first things first, I, I would hope that we can slay the dragon of this meta of comparing this to recipes and or like saying that like there's like, a, like oh, 
there's a manufacturing company in 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 Candace Canada or Islamabad that says they can do this. Um, this is from John Grabenstein, the who is the associate director for Commun science communications at the Immune Nation a Action Center. And he says it's not like you're just giving a recipe to another res restaurant. That recipe is thousands and thousands of pages long, and then you have to validate and show that you meet all the really tight performance specifications and prove consistency of process before any of the regulators will let you distribute any of the vaccines. Right now, regulators are talking about like. Like, like, like you know, the CDC and shit, right? Um, I find it kind of frustrating that we are at one time saying that greedy pharmaceutical companies don't want people to be vaccinated, but also saying, hey, we should trust these capitalist manufacturers Other in like Canada and Islamabad <laughs> that say that they can do it. There's no reason to believe that. We need to trust the science manufacturers, right? That's not now, what anybody uh, going said. Forward, again. Um, I would like to address this idea that there's like a Western bias. I mean, I don't really know what to tell you. I'm assuming, like again, like the, if I if I was going to get medical care, it's going to be from places like it's going to be places like in the West or in China and places like that, right? The places that can produce vaccines, Russia, America, and China are producing vaccines, right? That just seems to be the truth. Uh, uh, India is also doing this, but they EU. don't have as much capacity for this. The EU is doing this; they don't, they don't have as much capacity for this. Um, and skepticism of current ability, current ability is not skepticism of potential or actual ability, right? I don't believe that the scientist from Cote d'Ivoire is any more intelligent than a scientist from Germany. I just believe that the ability, the, 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 the training, the education, and the equipment that the scientist from Cote d'Ivoire has access to is much more limited than the, the, that of the German scientist. That's all that I believe. All that I believe. Um, it does take time. Because uh, of IP law. Facilities does take time having these companies go and figure out where they're going to give the patents to, and et cetera, does take time. But the question is, does the, is it actually going to increase the ability for us to get our three pillars, a safe vaccine to the most amount of people in the quickest amount of time. I don't seem, doesn't seem to be true. Um, I'm looking at my sources here, just one moment. Um, I had a source here for the, oh, here it is. Um, so Pfizer is, it is actually partnering with companies. If there is a, if there is this Islamabad uh, factory that can work or a factory in Bangladesh or whatever that, that could produce this vaccine, these companies are partnering with them. Of uh, the World Health Organization has set up an mRNA tr uh, technology transfer hub in which 50 countries have been giving around stuff. But again, or sorry, uh, not 50 countries, 50 factories. 50. There's only been 50 factories from all around the world that have been able to transfer stuff because it's a, it's 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 unique, special stuff. Um, and uh, Pfizer has. Work as a uh, partnered with um, what's it called Rovi Recepta Farm and Linzoa, which I believe I believe all three of those I think or I think two of those are uh, uh, not in American companies. I think I'm pretty sure Recepta Farm is Indian. I think what does Rovi any of this mean? Pakistani or something like this. I'm not fully sure. You can go look that. Maybe South African. I'm not sure. Um, and uh, but regardless. Uh, this is happening. If there are, if there is an ability to process this, this is happening in, in this, in this, in, in, around the world. Um, obviously, I think it's like you know, right now we don't have these supply problems because we don't have a ton of countries trying to produce the vaccine, right? Like it would that would probably go up if we did that. Like I mean, maybe, yeah, maybe it's not going to be all levels these, of these people know how to ramble for like a long time be, and say nothing. Um, like uh, uh, that need to be put forward. Um, oh, fuck, I had I think I feel like I had one more thing um, that That's I wanted awesome. to get to. If I can't think of it in like one second, I'll just I'll give up. Uh, the, I the mic. Back to you, buddy. Yeah, it's fine. Just let me know. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Um, anyway, I, um, oh, sorry, let, me, let me just, yeah, let me look at my notes and then you can go. Okay, okay. Well, I just want to hop in for a second. So the Spectrum Pharmaceuticals in India is the largest producer of vaccines uh, worldwide, but we need to remember that's total vaccines. They specialize in generic vaccines uh, like tetanus, hepatitis, things of that nature. Those facilities, even how as close as they are, they are still years away from being able to be retrofitted to adenovirus vaccines like J and G. Well maybe not years. I think March twenty twenty two was the estimate. Uh retrofitted over to adenovirus bound vaccines like AstraZeneca and J and J. Also, I'll shoot it over to to, to Feline. I think he's next. I know. It's not Feinstein. <laughs> nice don't worry. try. I got this. Yeah, nice, nice try. try. I, remember, I, yeah. I remember what I wanted to ask about. Uh, well guess really what? It's my point. turn now, um, so you can wait. Uh, you got to ramble for like two hours, and now it's my turn to ramble hours. for two hours. Yeah. Oh, like oh, oh, let, 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 let Kobe finish. Yeah, oh, I did. I have one, one, I did one last thing. It's, it's, it actually is a question for you guys, so you can, you can okay. talk, right? My mm -hmm. question would be: uh, earlier, I feel like people were saying there's a lot of like baseless accusations or like baseless claims being made. I was just like, what, 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 like what, like what specifically are them? Because I would just like to be able to see if I could find a clear. Oh a, yeah, a, yeah. yeah. I, I mean. Most of those were not touched on. I was interested in finding out what the actual risk, if there's any actual citation that can be provided for what the actual risk of a virus, of a, of a sorry, of a vaccine-based mutation, like if there were bad vaccines or vaccines that weren't as effective, how much more that would increase the risk of mutation. And while I do appreciate a, um, a massive HTML document of your entire 
entire what appears to be your entire bookmarks folder. You asked for, um, ask for sources. Well, well yeah, sources. I mean, damn, I love it when we go on a panel and you get given a link to Encyclopedia Britannica. Very helpful and well, super informative. Definitely, like, well, definitely, definitely, it, definitely, so. wor the, the definitely, definitely worthy of your uh, of your large performative rant about how you weren't going to be performative while you're doing boxing moves at the screen. So yeah, yeah, um, I can't help, I'm really passionate yeah, yeah. About the subject, I, I feel, yeah, I feel your passion. Listen, there's a lot of bookmarks. Mind, shows how much you know. Now, uh, sorry, uh, just wanted I mean, to make sure I got. I just listen. I just wanted to. I just wanted to listen. I just wanted to make sure I got my fair share of posturing in here. You know, so, so, everybody so, knows so I'm a big of fan viral, of it. So risk everyone, 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 still everyone, can't talk. Everyone, everyone, please, please, please. Um, let's let's all be friends, right? We love each other, right? We do love each other. I match energy. Wait, so, so risk of viral mutation? Anything oh yeah, else? risk of viral mut mutation would be fantastic. I would love to see the um the like rapidly changing dates of when like oh a Bangladesh thing wouldn't be able to do it till two thousand four hundred and seventy two, and it's I just said like twenty twenty two. Yeah, no, actually, yeah. first you said I think twenty twenty four, then you said twenty twenty two. You said years. Yeah, I, said, I, said I know. Years. It's just it almost seems it almost seems like all these so people. Was one date, and then I corrected oh, immediately all right. to the actual. So date. triggered. Listen, it's just really fun. To me. No, it's really funny because I get, I give, you, I gave. Remember when, when there was this segment at the very beginning of this segment, and then you said, "Oh, I'm just going to say one thing, and then you'll be able to talk." And then all of these people keep going blah 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 with their random numbers that they're pulling out of their ass right before you, as you if so like, they can I, try I, and talk. I, I, I've been hey, everyone, everyone, I'm so sorry, stop, but like, stop, I've been, stop, I've been, stop, I've been, stop, I've been, stop, Kobe, stop, 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 stop. Uh, med, uh, sorry, me. uh, Demon Mama, continue. No one else to talk. Demon Mama, please. Yeah, so God, I don't even remember what I was actually originally going to talk about because we've gone off on so many different things. But um, I think there's a couple of things here. First of all, one of the things I wanted to touch on is this idea of like recipe and reagent um, scarcity. Listen, uh, I don't know if you know this, but like there's no real reason to uh, produce a whole bunch of reagents if you can't produce the vaccine in the first place. So the freezing effect that I brought up, which nobody actually um, talked talked on and everybody kind of just danced around it because it's an I inconvenient point the world bank on it. uh excuse me i'm talking still i know you're having trouble talking listening in this panel but um yeah it's really hard when um, you say a lot of wrong knock things. it off oh, i will totally. start meeting people i don't want to i really don't do you do you Let's see what friends. i'm talking about though like i just want to present like Demon i think Mama, you started excuse this. me you excuse me i'm literally talking all right all right all right yeah. all right don't worry i'm gonna help you out listen I'm help you out yeah, yeah. I'm I mean, listen, I get a little bit of back and forth. I get a little bit of banter. But when a bunch of people come on and they're just like boasting big numbers that are ripping out of their ass and how they're the biggest intellectuals in the room, I just I just I get a little bit, you know, I don't know. It just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Let's put it that way. Um, but what I was going to say what the point I was trying to make here was that um, those reagents, there's a freezing effect that goes downhill from the from the inability of a of countries and and other companies overseas to be able to produce these vaccines in the first place you will have more i mean barring unless you're trying to argue that like these mrna vaccines and 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 i'm not a virologist so it is certainly possible that like i don't know like uh refined uranium is one of the um one of the like in, in ingredients in these things like now i i think that this is a matter of manufacturing we need people as far as i understand to be able to produce those those reagents they're not going to produce those reagents if they know that nobody nearby is going to be able to purchase those reagents so there's a freezing effect that rolls downhill from preventing countries from being able to freely pursue the production of a vaccine regardless of its type whether it's an mrna or the alternate type i always forget the term for it um so this freezing effect is something that's really important and again um it's 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 something that we've done in the past we've aimed to uh open up the ability for com for countries to be able to produce these things to be able to do so as well and something that i keep encountering on this panel that's like I know everybody said, oh, I'm not Western biased, but then you act as though there aren't PhDs all over the world who are perfectly I, qualified. I literally, I literally who are, said who are, it. Who are, are perfect. Yes, you did, but everybody else, you're, you're not the only one on the panel. I, I know it's hard uh, to believe. Everybody, but... everybody, everything, what I said, I promise you, every single other person agrees with what I said. I, I would oh, I'm very glad. Agree. I'm glad that every person in the world agrees with you because you're so right. On the panel. I mean, listen, is that, a, is that a source trust me, bro? That'll be like, uh, no, the, third, the, that'll be like the third yeah. source trust me, bro, that I've heard today. I've, I'm talking okay. about the idea that there are PhDs in other countries, specifically. I made the comment yeah, about Yeah, there are PhDs, there are virologists and experts all over the world who would be able to benefit from sharing that knowledge. Leaving that, leaving that um leaving that wholly within the uh within the grounds of a company to sue over is a mistake this is an ideological mistake it, it doesn't like and none of the arguments that are being prevented here have anything to do with the actual discussion about ip law whether uh, whether they can actually um manufacture it safely has 
jack shit to do with IP law. That has to do with being able to investigate, with being able to have access, with being able to have communication to other countries. IP law you has said it. nothing to do with any of that. No, it doesn't. You, IP you law just is said about... It. No, I literally that that's didn't. What, that this is a red herring, and this makes it so we're not talking about the real problems that is actually stopping vaccine production. The, the IP law has very little to do with the actual so okay so sorry let me let me do a little uno reverso on you what you're saying is now you are now agreeing with my initial position that I stated in my introduction and if anybody doesn't believe me rewind the vod and you will see no, I know, that I excuse know me that. I'm still talking at the very beginning of this of this vod um I stated I don't think IP is the only roadblock in the way here however removing it it makes makes one less roadblock that could block all the way here and it makes a show of good faith from the united states and from other western countries that we are actually taking this seriously when let's be honest we've dropped the ball all the way along until this ha this point by happenstance we've basically fucked the world with regard to um covid and it's only now that we're kind of thinking about maybe we should approach things a little differently and i think that this is the correct approach now if you want to talk about well, i'm gonna so yeah, I 100 percent. Oh, so can I respond very clearly? I 100 percent agree. Quickly. There are obviously many, 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 many Thank roadblocks. You. But the point that I and, and I know that we all agree with this. I appreciate you agreeing with me 100. percent Okay, fine. I would argue that you are heavily overstating what the effect of the patents are, are having on this. Okay, that that is what the argument I'm making, and then I think that, that I argue that this is a bit of a red herring. Okay, that is my position. Mm -hmm, sure. Okay, so uh, we are next after Demon Mama. We will go to uh, Sharpie, Feline, then myself. Um, anyone else want to get in line? Okay. All right. Um. So uh, we'll go to Sharpie. I'll get in line uh, in advance. Line and uh, myself. All right. So Sharpie, please. And then me. Oh, um. Demon Mama, you want to get in line again? All right. Sure. Yeah. So I just I wanted to go back really quick. So something Red Charlie keeps saying over and over, and and it, it's bothering me a little bit. So Charlotte has brought up twice that there's a company in India that said that they can they can produce two billion doses of this vaccine. Okay. What they're not telling you, very very obviously, they're not telling you, is they're making a giant assumption here, assuming. They can get all the right people that they need in place. They can get all the right materials that they need in place and that they have all the dis distribution lines ready to go. They don't have any of these currently. Wait, that's They're not what I said. They're basically telling you that, no, 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 don't interrupt me, Charlotte. Thank you very much. Okay, so the reality is that we can't just do this overnight. They're not ready to do this. They're giving you a projection because what do they want? They also want money. The same way that Pfizer and Moderna. And so the solution is to leave it in about, American. The company in India wants money the exact same way. Okay. That's why they're saying they can produce 2 billion vaccines overnight. Yeah, sure. They can project that because based on I this, love that, this. And the other, but they're not giving you a solid number. That's like, we have all the materials in place already. We have all the people that are ready to go. We have all the distribution lines ready and set up. No, they don't have any of that ready to go ahead of time. So the so, reality is that just out of their ass a claim like that does not all of this that, is that being pulled case. out of their ass. It's just not the case. Okay. And, and, and I, I, I don't know, this is just really infuriating, man. I mean, demon mama is doing tear emojis during people's speeches and shit. Like, come on, man, this is just really sad. Like, I mean, you're right. You are being really sad right now. Also, can I have a side on citation? No, 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 no and then pump that outside, that's what's going to be more effective overall. If we ship the IP rights off to other countries where they don't have proven vaccines, you want to, Prime wants to ship it to a, a company in Canada that's never produced a vaccine in their life, thinking that they're going to be able to produce something that's efficacious. It most likely isn't. That's why Johnson & Johnson rejected them. And then I know I other do. Companies I know I do. Axia Ross. To produce their vaccine in Canada. I mean, we just have to understand what these companies are doing. Johnson & Johnson got multiple offers from multiple companies in Canada. The one that you want that said that they could produce all these vaccines, but they've never done it before, okay? They rejected it. Nobody has. We just invented this. They went with some other companies in Canada. It doesn't make any sense. If we want to limit the supply of these materials and make it so that people can't have the supplies that they need, then that's fine. But the reality is that you're going to vastly reduce the amount of vaccines then. Or you're going to put vaccines that are potentially harmful. If you want to give anti-vaxxers any more ammunition, go with the plan that these folks have. Because the re but when we look at this, 
if you give them all these other supplies and they produce vaccines that aren't aren't efficacious, the the anti vaxxers will the, say these are all copy pasted Destiny's argument, by the work. way. Why would Just you so you know, vaccine it's thirty percent effective, it's forty percent effective. They're giving it to all these other people in these other countries, and it's not working. Why would you take the vaccine then? So you're just going to empower anti-vaxxers and make their argument even stronger going forward. Uh, so, so that was a whole bunch of like. You can respond to that since it was directly to you, yeah. Red Charlotte, and then we'll move on. So that wasn't a response to what I claimed because I never claimed what you said I claimed. I, I never you claimed said there that was a company in India that nope. produced two billion nope. vaccines. Nope. Nope. It's an analysis that the entirety of India's pharmaceutical industry could produce 2.4 billion doses a year. That's not, not that one said, company. So I, I, I wish what? That. That's not what? Are you said. fucking kidding? I, I have it in chat. Thing. I have it in chat. It says, according to one analysis, the country's pharmaceutical industry can produce blah, 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 blah. I never said one company. Like, ever. Like, and and the, the the thing that talks about one company is that currently there's only one single factory uh, that has like a, an agreement to produce vaccines, and with only that company, they can only produce one billion. So if the rest of the industry was allowed to like partake in creating vaccines, they could double the output. Like that. So I never claimed that. So that's all I wanted to say. Whoops. Okay. Um. Then next in line is one second, please. Uh. It is. Uh, a feline, uh, the myself, uh, then demon mama. Again, if you want to get in line, let me know. All right, so uh, by raising your hand. Um, okay, so I'll, I'll go to uh, feline. I know you're muted. I'm going to unmute you right now. Um, <laughs> but I will unmute you right now. One second, feline. Go ahead, please. Yeah, hey, 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 everybody. Yeah, what's up? Um, yeah, so, see, so yeah, sorry I exploded uh, in my first statement, right? I, like I said, this is just like a really, really important talk to me, right? I mean, yeah, it's like the laughing at Kikian, like in like the haha, like they're dumb, like shit. Like, I don't like that because you're, <laughs> you're he was doing that though. I'm like, year, like a year and a half of work I've done on this. Like, this is not like I'm, a, I'm not like some like, like he's like, doing it again. Show, like, and like, it's driving me nuts with this, right? Like, if we could like tone that down a little bit, I'd really appreciate it. Okay. Now, in regards to Demon Mama, in regards to like your statement, like, like you want me to explain to you about like, you know, how, how, how a pseudo a pseudo vaccinated person can you know harbor you know, is the perfect environment for you know mutations to occur in a new variant. I'm gonna have to explain. You know, you, I, I, you're gonna give me give me an hour, right? Because I literally have to talk to you about how mutations apply, right? I'm gonna have to tell you about how these things happen, right? And you just want me to like throw an answer at you that you're like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Like that's not how science works. That's not, not how virology works. That's not how microbiology works. That's not how evolution works, right? I can't just explain it to you in five seconds, right? Second thing. Right, but, and yeah, you asserted to, like, you wanted you wanted sources on you know it, I I linked and linked I linked in the chat the uh the source for the uh the the, the uh World Bank's uh look into this right it had literally has every single answer you could possibly need in this but I'm not here to spoon feed it to you right like we're here yes you are trying to like you guys are laughing but I we're here trying to provide information to y'all and y'all are just like laughing and keep keen and bullshit. And and yet here's Prime like like submitting like 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 you're throwing like like the New Republic as a source, right? Like here, let me give you a source. It's called the who. It's called the who like w h o dot com like dot net, right? Like it's the their fucking website, Kovacs, right? Like this is not like run by, you know, Prime. Hey, hold on. Sorry, sorry. I'm gonna have to stop you. No, there. I'll you cannot, no, no, no. Okay. Feline, feline. I don't, I don't know what you're doing here. Look, make yeah, your point. Okay. You're not no, being no, oppressed. No, no. What the fuck is this, show. dude? All right, man, fuck off. That's bullshit. That's fucking bullshit. Get, get the fuck out of here. All right, uh, I'm gonna say something. Yeah, I don't know what that. Ha so uh, let's let's review what just happened. All right, I as uh, and you all saw, I made sure that Feline had a chance to talk to make his uh, points, right? Um, to uh, present his material, right? His problem was not with our uh, arguments against them, was our, our reactions. He didn't like our facial expressions, and so then he fucked off. Well, okay then. Fuck off. Holy shit. You don't well, get to control other people's reactions. And if I can um, comment on that. Yeah, and, and, and I'll give you uh, just a second. Yeah. I just got a rant on this for a little bit. That's fucking bullshit, Feline. I feel like I generally like uh, Feline. I generally like him as a person. And I always enjoy having him. But that's fucking bullshit. Like, this is a fucking debate. People can uh, react however the fuck they want to. I never cared how any of them reacted, right? If Metaphor thinks my, my point is stupid, then he can react like he thinks my point's fucking stupid. That's okay. I didn't interrupt him. 
um, and I made sure uh, everyone else didn't interrupt him. So that's bullshit. He doesn't want to be a part of this conversation. That's okay, right? And then, and just uh, and finally, that whole thing about like providing all the sources. If you provide a, a gigantic fucking document, right, that no one can find your source, like the exact piece of information, how is that useful to us, right? Yes, I, I. This is what fucking um corporate uh, uh lawyers do, right? They inundate people with uh files and like, oh yeah, the 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 one file you need is somewhere in that massive pile, right? Oh, you can't find it. Oh, you can't make your case. Oh, it's Oh, I don't know. Yeah. So that's fucking bullshit. And I thank the rest of you for sticking around participating. All right, do you mind me want to say something? Yeah, um, and you know, not to not to, you know, kiss up to the panel host here, but like I mean, literally all of you saw Feline the whole front time doing all his little punching things, doing getting all animated, and then one of us has a facial expression, loses his fucking shit. Here's the problem I have. The reason I have a problem with posting a wall of text as your sources when you make very specific, very bold claims about if we waive IP law, it will result in deaths around the world. And by the way, go watch. You can. Does nobody else remember this? Am I going insane that he just explicitly said that? I promise you that, that people will die around the world and that mutations will arise. And all I ask for is, damn, that seems like a really specific, really influential claim. Could I see some numbers on what the, first of all, the risk of failing the vaccine is? And secondly, on what the risk of mutation is with a failed vaccine versus no vaccine at all? Because... I have a small, you know, my intuition, and again, I'm not a virologist, but my intuition is that some immunization is significantly better than none. Um, and I could be wrong about that. Maybe I'm incorrect. I didn't think that vaccines functioned on the same rules as antibiotics because of because it's about immun immunization and whether the, va the uh, disease is able to take root. Um, but there's another thing as well. Um, in, in Sharpie's uh, sort of counter rant to the point that Red Charlotte didn't actually make, um, he, he brought up that, um, that, oh, well, you know, American companies are doing this. Well, why are we always taking the side of the American company over another overseas company? In, in all of this, we have no reason to assume that Johnson & Johnson or, Provi or Pfizer or Moderna or any of these other companies are any more well-meaning than, than the companies in another country. What I'm advocating for is equalizing the ground so that every company all over the world can have equal access to a drug that we know is going to help defeat the pandemic. Pandemic. I'm not saying that we should just say we, that the United States should go in and like strategically remove all investigative processes, all like food and drug administrations from every country around the world. That's so ridiculous. All I'm saying is that we shouldn't be, we shouldn't allow companies to threaten to sue anybody and they will and they do. And that's the thing. It is both a show of good faith and it also removes a potentially very large freezing effect which we know is happening we know that there are companies who aren't even bothering to set up the the necessary facilities to build it because they know they'll get sued if they do so we need to remove that and while i agree it is not the only challenge in front of us obviously we're dealing with a pandemic there's no single magic bullet that's going to solve it the idea that all these people will come in here and just stride in pulling numbers out of their ass about how everyone's going to die if we don't listen to bill gates and give companies the entire ability to choke hold the world for their ip rights ip rights has nothing to do with most of the problems that you're bringing up and i agree that stuff like sourcing uh sourcing the ingredients is important but that has nothing to do with IP, and IP only makes that situation worse. Okay, um, so uh, uh, because things got shaken up, it was Feline's turn. Um, I will let someone else go in, in, in this place. I'll go. I'll go to Metaphor. I'll go to Metaphor. Um, let him uh, have Feline's turn. So I'm going to unmute Metaphor, um, and then uh, he'll go in his place. Bathroom. And then uh, I'll let him decide the uh, right now. So uh, it'll be Metaphor. Then myself, I was going to go after feline previously right and demon just went so uh metaphor myself um kobe did you have your hand up um okay um and i'm uh sharpie i'm not sure how, if you were there but feline decided to fucking rage quit um so uh, here, i'm not sure oh, okay i didn't know if you caught that all right uh, did you want did you raise your hand to get in line let me make sure yeah yeah okay all right so i'll put you in line all right um so uh let's go with metaphor metaphor please um yeah i don't know how i i don't know how many times I need to explain how, the connection between IP and resources, um, and even to the extent re like regulation. Um, these people are the ones that know how to do it best. Um, IP does does not tell anybody how to do something. This is M Moderna has had public access 
to the mRNA sequence from the fucking beginning. They said in December that they were not going to pursue any cases of IP violation. Where's the where's the generic Moderna vaccine? From the fucking beginning, everybody has had access to what they would have access to if we lifted IP rights. We don't have it in any even developed country. And so this idea that like I don't like what time frames you guys think we're walking talking in because we're talking about India, but by the time they get a facility set up, it's there. It's too late, too late for them. I'm talking about South Africa. South Africa has one facility that makes uh, APIs. Like South Africa is not going to be able to convert their their thing over to this. This is this is these mRNA vaccines require hundreds of steps and thousands of quality control checks to validate these processes take thousands of man hours and an obscene amount of money. Why would we spend the money and the effort to start new facilities when we have facilities that can ramp up production, then export that vaccine? If we're going to be spending money, why don't we spend it wisely? Which is based on the study that Feline linked with this, with this Who bank that directly analyzed the bottlenecking of the raw materials and how it would exist in multiple scenarios, including one in which generic manufacturers had free access. And it concluded that the fastest way to get everybody vaccinated as quickly as possible is to keep IP and ramp up manufacturing in the companies and manufacturers that already have it set up. Also, the reason that Feline gets upset and he linked this wall of text is because you're asking something as simple as like, well, how does evolution work? Prove to me evolution. He's not going to link a single link about evolution. That is not you're even asking close about to how the truth. viruses gain and lose fucking RNA, how they gain and lose function, no. how they change their spike proteins, no, and how they interact all. with the immune system. I can see why these people aren't debaters. I can like, see why is, these people aren't streamers. This, this is how mutations happen. This is established figures. I'm sure he'd be happy to sit down with you and run you through run, run you through with it if you're actually looking to get educated. But what is frustrating to him and equally frustrating to me is it doesn't feel like anybody's here to be educated. It's a lot of straw manning of our position. I'm not here really to be important. educated by okay, you, okay. yes. Okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, let, let me finish. Metaphor, are you done? I'm not sure. Jesus sure Christ. Done. Yeah, sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean Can to. Can I ask uh, a question? Okay, yeah, like... inter intercede on people. Um, so, right. hold on, I just got to go because I'm highly upset. Um, and uh, Red, I'll let you ask a question um, later. Um, put you in line. Um, so, yeah, I'm just really upset. Once again, uh, again, I thank you all the rest for staying here. I don't want to derail this uh, because we have uh, good people here to have a conversation. I think it's fucking bullshit that Feline I comes here. I didn't say the here. formula. No, 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 no. I didn't, I'm not talking about uh, that Feline coming here acting like he's fucking oppressed. Yeah, uh, true. Because people have reactions. He does not what he left. He left because, and he said why he left, because uh, p people were, were laughing uh, at him, right? Laughing at his arguments. Yeah, people are going to fucking laugh at you. This Twitch. Holy shit, right? But when people were interrupting him. So let's uh, dead that shit, right? Oh, this is because you weren't um, willing to be convinced. No, we actually are, right? Like, if you guys have a good argument, I'd love to hear it. Once again, the goal is, and I thought we were on the same side here, is to make sure... Um, is to find ways to um, expand access, or, well, not, not just access, right? Um, to make sure people actually get shots, not just access, but to get shots in the arm um, all across, uh, all around the world. We want to make sure that uh, that's the case, right? And if people are fucking laughing and you think your ideas are, are, are hilarious, that's the least of your abilities. Don't come in here like you're fucking oppressed. You're not. Fuck you. Moving on. Um, so, um, we're moving. So, I had responses to each and uh, one of you. Uh, I believe, um, and uh, do you mind? Oh, you put your hand up. I'll put you in line as well. Um, sorry. Okay. Um, I had uh, responses to all of you. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Kobe, um, you say that uh, we should believe uh, members in the science community uh, uh, when uh, they say that uh, IP uh, should uh, not be waived, right? Um, but then others in the science community saying that it should be waived. Right, <laughs> like there are 100 countries, um, like it was 100, 140 countries, uh, signed this uh agreement saying that uh, if you waive these uh rights or these IP rights, uh, that will be a significant barrier not the only barrier, but a significant barrier in um uh, uh the vaccine distribution, right? Like in, in stopping vaccine distribution, right? So, other scientists on the other side are saying that, so I, I guess I, 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 I chosen to believe them because of the preponderance of evidence in my perspective on these, right? But okay, we can have a different step agreement there. That's fine. Um, um, yeah, so I then... Uh, the Wait, companies, Prime, are, we, uh, are, you, are, are you not able to clip your streams? What? Yeah, I am. Oh, it's not letting me clip it. It's weird. 
don't know. Um, try to ref- you might have to refresh the page. Sometimes I've, that's happened to me before. But you have to refresh the page before you can click something. Um, but yeah. Okay. Um. <clears throat> uh. So, or maybe he rage quit. Not, period. Um, yeah, he rage quit out. Sub. I think subs. Should, I think people who are not subs should be. It, able it, to it, doesn't, matter. it sure. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. All right. Um. So, uh, the companies uh, with access with the most crucial bits of technology. Uh, yes. Okay. So you talked about the WHO, uh, Kobe, uh, WHO technology transfer. Yes. This was set up uh, previously. This was going to be the way uh, that we move forward, right? We're going to have a global effort in which uh, companies share this technology, right? Um, uh, and um, we're going to act like a war effort, like a global war effort, right? Except not against each other, against this virus to get these things solved. And uh, uh, Kobe points out, well, there's only 50 companies have joined it. Well, because the companies with the uh, uh, most crucial uh, bits of uh, it's a technology, metaphor, right? They right. have refused to join. They refuse to share, right? Like that's those Sorry. are the ones that we need. If they don't have that uh, technology, then what's the point uh, of the transfer? The transfer is dead without it, right? Uh, and uh, Bill Gates, uh, uh, previously Kobe said Bill Gates is important. Bill, Bill, sorry, I said Gil, I said Gil Bates. And, uh, Bill Gates <laughs> is extremely important, extremely important uh, to this conversation because he's been central in keeping um, IPs um, uh, locked down, right? There were literally uh, uh, organizations thinking of um, sharing their technology, right? Uh, there was this, um, uh, it was in Oxford or something, I, I can find it, um, but it's in my notes. Oh, um, Oxford. Oxford, yes, Oxford. Uh, uh, had decided that they were going to uh, share uh, their technology, right? Um, Bill Gates got a hold of them, shut that whole shit down, right? Uh, at the very start, at do. the very start, at the very start of this um, uh, uh, pandemic, right? Even before it was declared a pandemic, there was a meeting, a meeting of, I believe it was the, of the within the WHO, I Mini believe it was the WHO, a meeting of of scientists from across the world Mama. got together, talked about um, how uh, they could have been uh, impified, robot moving force, so uh, omnibus document talking about uh, how to make this happen, right? You know what they didn't include in there? They didn't include IP, right? Because they didn't think they didn't think this was actually going to be an issue. They thought, well, of course. Well, of course uh, IP uh, would be waived. Why would we even uh, bother with that, right? This is the moment, uh, if, if at any uh, point, a global pandemic, uh, one as serious as they thought was, it was going to be, this was the moment in which uh, these things uh, would... Uh, uh, be waived and that we'll move forward, right? But they forgot capitalism was a thing and they were corrected soon enough. Um, Bill Gates Only actually I. got in the way. Um, he uh, inserted himself, right? So Bill Gates um, and this uh, Kovacs, Chibi Mama. Uh, uh, True, scene, uh, is, Chibi Mama. Uh, part of uh, somebody need I need a his, Chibi Mama. Um, uh, his vision of how this sh- uh, uh, should actually uh, go, right? The the vaccine distribution, uh, Kovacs and this uh, it's uh, it's called Act C, I think. Um, was this? Um, the accelerator. Uh, well, he is came how in he hot next, that Dizzy. Should, uh, uh, distributing this vaccine, and it keeps in place the monopolistic uh, uh, scheme, right? It keeps in place um, um, the option, coincidentally, the one that makes them the most money, right? Uh, coincidentally, uh, that just happens to be the one they picked. Okay, all right. So uh, that was to uh, mostly Kobe. All right. Uh, next to uh, a good friend, metaphor. Um, uh, you said, um, oh yeah, you said. Uh, 2022 would be uh, the soonest that those people are ready. You mean ne- next year? Next year they'll be ready. Yep. March, March of 2020. So next year, <laughs> they'd be ready to start distributing uh, the vaccines, right? So this is interesting. This is interesting. To We're begin to producing, have... not to start. To, to begin, to begin producing. Okay, great, wonderful, right? Um, uh, this is this is fantastic, right? So they're like, well, this is pointless. Why, why bother? Bill Gates actually put this out, same line out, right? What do you know? More Bill Gates talking points. But, um, oh, well, well, uh, actually, you know what? Even if we do uh, a wave vaccine, right? So even if we do do that, you know, by the time like, <gasps> it happens, by the time How they exciting. get around to it, it's going to be so late. So once again, why don't we just keep it in our hands? Like, it just makes sense, right? Because first, we block you. We block you from having the ability to uh, produce these vaccines, right? To get into the business, right? To get into the running, right? We block you from doing that, right? And then after running out the clock, we say, oh, yeah, it's going to be too late anyway. Oh, yep, time's up. Oh, oh, no. Well, uh, oh, well, yeah. It it should just stay in our hands. We should make the billions. Wonderful. Just coincidentally. That'd be cool as hell. It's just how it worked out, folks. I would love to be that big. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, if they had been, uh, if IP had been with them the beginning, I understand, uh, they'd be either ready or almost ready to use uh, manufacturing plant. So th- it's not that they can't make it, right? So uh, a metaphor is even. Fuck, I'm gonna need another they fucking can, right? clove they after this. Jesus things. Christ! It's just that 
Well, now they're they're behind um, in the race now. And so why bother? So uh, if they had been way from the beginning. See you later, the, Castrix. Thanks for coming by. Happen, um, then we wouldn't be in this situation. Moving on to Sharpie. Uh, Sharpie, uh, you say that uh, we can't believe these companies in poor nations uh, because uh, they have a... Um, a uh, 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 a profit uh, motive, right? Profit motive. Well, at the same time, then why the fuck are we believing uh, the people here, right? Who also have uh, a profit motive, right? Uh, we have companies that have a profit motive, right? So because oh, Johnson and Johnson decided not to work with the factory, right? Uh, Johnson and Johnson also has a profit motive, so there might be reasons why uh, they have picked and choose different ones beyond their a uh, uh, different uh, manufacturing plants, beyond their uh, immediately ability to actually produce the vaccine, right? We can understand that maybe they've decided that um uh, they have that there is within their best interest whatever those interests exactly are it's after their this best we're going to do some to, conservative to, to, to react have, right so the fact that johnson johnson hasn't picked a particular factory in um canada or bangladesh or whatever right actually bears uh, has um tells us absolutely nothing we got to do something absolutely fun after this they also have a profit motive we can both understand that um uh uh, you also said, um, why uh, would companies have supply lines ready? Maybe right? Silax, we'll um, see. Uh, talk about the supply lines. Well, they didn't have all the supply lines ready, right? But uh, a strike against these companies, a strike against these companies that they didn't have all their ducks in a row, right? They don't have the supply lines ready. They don't have their uh, uh, um, factories retrofitted yet. Well, why are they? They can't guarantee a product. They can't Fair enough, Mike. They will have Michelle product, Allison. Right? So they have to do all that. Um, but then, uh, oh yeah, we'll do the it, Elijah right? Schaefer thing. Um, yeah, and then that'd be get fun. sued. It's fucking disastrous. So they don't know if they even have Hell a product. Yeah, so of course they're waiting. Right? That's not a strike against them. The very fact that they aren't ready yet. They're waiting oh, for the go ahead. That's true as tech. Moving, that would be right? obviously okay. Uba. Um, uh, yeah. Before I had been saying, well, those other companies got uh, ground running. Yeah, because they know they have the rights. Um, available uh, to them. These companies don't have the rights available. Give them the ability. Uh, ensure that they won't be. Uh, it's not a bad idea. Although people might misuse it. Um, by American and people German might misuse corporations, it. and they'll get themselves right. Um, and I think it had just one other thing. Um, yeah, setting up all that manufacturing ability uh, takes money, right? It takes money. It's not free. Not something you just do. We don't flip a switch. And then, and then, of course, these uh, we'll companies see, we'll are see. manufacturing other drugs like, as we speak, right? So if they take up their capacity, they only have limited amount of capacity, and they take a capacity to uh, set up for a drug that is non-existent or a product that is non-existent for them, right? Then they will be harming their own profits, and they'll be out of business one way or the other. So guaranteed, they're not going to be sued, and they can actually get started. Okay, that was a very long rant. Uh, I'm done. I'm going to go to the next person of mine. Uh, that will be uh, Kobe. We'll then go to Sharpie. Then we'll go to Red. And then we'll go to, to uh, Demon. Okay. You, you're a demon because I just heated up a dab and then he gave it to me. So I'll have to wait. Okay. No, I'm joking. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Um, okay. So yeah, um, I would like to address a couple of things here. So I agree. The global war effort thing. Totally agree with. How do people um, do this many dabs link, back to back? Um, I think I, I smoke a lot. Holy shit. After. He's uh, done like three dabs. Kind of what the fuck? I can insane. Agree, right? As I talked about in our, my original thing, I think one of the big problems we have here is the legacy of colonialism. A lot of human beings live in countries that were underdeveloped specifically. That their development and their industrialization was focused on extractive industry, not on the various like complicated stem shit that we have here in the west right that's not okay it's not fucking okay that people in india that's the very uh, very talented scientists in india in south africa etc can't do this shit that's not okay that needs to change but this is not one of the big things with the pandemic okay buddy mama is great like, it's true decades long salute problems that we need to sol solve that we need to try to figure out in like 10 days, right? Same thing with the vaccine. Remember when, when people were saying that it's probably going to be like a year plus until we get a good, a good vaccine? You know, it, it is... It's got to reset your you know, tolerance. We have a lot of problems that we don't have the uh, productive capacity to actually meet. Yeah, yet. it's bad. The reason there, I brought up the be. World Trade uh, Organization uh, trading, like, like a trading... Just reset it. Was, it I was like hoping to days. try to illustrate the lack of productive capacity. True, Lonnie, me too. Stuff. Um, now to address uh, Demon Mama's point. Um, so specific, so um, I, I, I'm super sorry. I actually forgot to write this down and you might forget your point. So I'm sorry, I can go on. I, I believe that you made a point about the idea that because we have this patent and it's stopping these companies, it's stopping these various places from wanting to change over, that it's making it, that's kind of clogging up the supply line of stuff like the lipids and stuff. Was that, is, am I correct there or am I missing? No, I was saying that there's a there's a downhill freezing effect where if, if there is a knowledge that there won't be any production in a country nearby, then there, then obviously it makes sense that manufacturers, all, manufacturers won't go into that business, at least on a local level. Now it's possible they might go it on an international level, but uh, that would be neither here nor there if they're going to go on to it in an international level they're going to do that anyway but there is a down a downhill effect from freezing out 
companies or countries from being able to produce the vaccine locally to then them being able to produce the other uh, reagents necessary. That was my argument. Yeah, for sure. So I linked an article in chat. Um, yeah, so I, I would just argue the international thing. If, if there's like a place in like India or whatever that can produce these lipids, like they are like going to be one of the most hot commodities on earth. This article goes into the production of the lipids and how complicated it is and how this even the, like, like we're, we're in like Factorio where we have like five levels of technology that we're super new with and we don't have that all like each level of technology we need we have all kinds of shit that we just don't have this lipid technology is new we don't have like you know it's not like um for example i use a butyrol right a butyrol is incredibly easy to make there are butyrol factories in like syria and north korea and stuff right because we've been making a butyrol since like 1920 we haven't been making these F mrna vaccines so um uh, i hope i can address i hope to, uh that point uh, as well as i could um going forward so uh, various countries have various times to begin producing right that's the big thing right is uh we, you know it, regardless of if they start retrofitting their factories um we might you know again like a lot of these the problem, a lot of the reasons why these countries are not going to have the begin producing until like 2022 is because of that going back to one of my original points that's why i really want to focus on western countries distributing Probably. these fucking vaccines, I, I, getting I the vaccines do I want to tempt fate? in america we are reaching a point where our problem is no longer that we don't have enough vaccines it's that we don't have people that want to get the vaccine people don't care or whatever just fucking give it away. Who gets a, I don't. If some f dumb fucking pig-headed idiot in fucking Idaho doesn't want to get the vaccine, give it to fucking India. Okay, I don't care. That's the that is things we need to. I think we should shift our focus from when can India, uh, you know, Cote d'Ivoire, etc., start producing the, vac the vaccine, and when can we get them the vaccine? That's a little bit more important. Um, I I, remember, I I don't think I wrote this down, but I, I I did remember something that kind of just kind of spiked my memory. Somebody said something along. Oh yeah, um, that something said like the, the our biggest approach should just be getting shots in arms. It, it has it does have to be our that the, the tier the th at least the three tiered approach I talked about. Shots in arms, that shots that are safe in arms, and as quick and efficient as possible. Sub only booby emote. Actually, medical. that's true. We yes. can't just be shots in arms. We can't just have like, like that's true. shitty vaccines, right? And no I one wants be, to produce you're shitty right, vaccines. You're right. I should. But Lonnie. if you have shitty equipment, you yep, don't have I the should. infrastructure, that's what happens. Um, and then finally, the last thing I would like to say would be about the idea of like regulations. So I don't trust Western companies. I'm a social democrat. I think the government has to hone in companies, or the government will just do like shit. I, 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 I'm sure these companies would produce shitty vaccines if it wasn't for the government. But the fact that never is, lack. Look at the look at the, the the building regulations in India. Look at look at all these different regulations. They don't have the same regulations. Wait, it's in India. still on the Discord. And I'm sorry for, for singling out India. I don't want to single out India. It's all sorts of different different countries, right? India produces a lot of uh, generic drugs, but they don't have the same regulations on these high tech uh, drugs. Same the same thing that we in the the West do. Again, that needs to change, but that's going to be a long term change there. So I don't again, know if that's I, true. I, I know that I, this panel has been very heated. I, I wish it wasn't, uh, but I think that it is because we all. Uh, you know, for a lot of reasons, but I think that, you know, we all want the same thing. We want people to get vaccines. I absolutely in no way, shape or form think it is okay that, as you said, like a third of all vaccines is in the West. That is an atrocity, but it's an atrocity because of like a failure of like 15 systems. So I, I'm sorry, I, I took, I know I, I talked a lot. There. No, no, you did great. Thank you, Kobe. What the oh, hell? We'll to, okay, we'll get it back yeah, on the Discord please. for sure. Yeah, so maybe this is a cool thing to offer heat it back up. I don't know which, but we'll find out. So Prime, man. You spend so much time talking about Bill Gates. Maybe you should just marry him, my guy. I mean, I would love to. Holy single. shit! Yes, yes. I feel like right. he spent less time with his wife last year than you spent talking about him in the last ten minutes. Sorry. I mean, I don't know, man. Just marry him, my guy. Okay. Anyway, so look, look, I, I, I want to refocus a little bit. I mean, the react. I know I'm getting bored, Val, but it's all good. It's we all good. We can talk about happens. IP all we want. But our whole goal, everyone's goal here is getting the most shots in arms, getting the most people vaccinated. I think that's very clear. If we want to get to that point, I don't think that getting rid of IP or doing any of that is the quickest solution here. Or the is very it? quickest thing that we should do is that we should start exporting vaccines. I mean, personally, on a personal level, I would say I don't really understand why we aren't already exporting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine basically entirely. We don't need to give this to anyone in America at this point. We should just export the Johnson & Johnson vaccine everywhere. I mean, send it to anyone that wants it. That would be totally fine with me. The Pfizer vaccine, the Moderna vaccine, we have enough supply of that right now, it seems, to vaccinate the rest of the population. The Pfizer there's vaccine- no, There's no topic the switch. This currently. is the only topic tonight. So we should prioritize those vaccines- It's a special panel. My mind it's the sure. only topic. But I would go ahead and export the Johnson & Johnson vaccine everywhere. There's no reason for us to continue doing that. And I'm totally fine with that. That's a much more practical and a much more rapid expansion of vaccine to the rest of the world than getting rid of IP is. Because you have to understand, this is not a U.S. problem. It's not the U.S. can get rid of this IP overnight. Right now, there's ongoing negotiations at the World Trade Organization. 
the the leaders of the WTO are hoping to have those negotiations wrapped up by December. It's not even on their radar to be wrapped up in the next three or six months. They're prioritizing December to figure out this vaccine waiver. So we can do way more ahead of that. Hey, Kobe, ever seen a chance focus on the panel, buddy countries to come on board and say, yes, we can get rid of IP rights. That's totally fine. Ship out the Johnson and Johnson vaccine, start helping other countries figure out manufacturing better. The U S has already proven more than once before that we can help negotiate deals between multiple countries and these companies, we can do that without getting rid of IP. You got to DM There's that no to me. To Once we get them. the emote thing when fixed, I'll, I'll, I'll put it on. Job, better job negotiating between these other countries. I mean, we're focusing on the wrong problem. Ultimately, this ends up being a complete red herring. It's a total distraction. It's not going to solve the issue. It's not going to get rid of the pandemic. Nobody on this panel can make the claim right now that if we get rid of IP, that the pandemic is going to go away in three to six months. Kobe's months. in the it's chat right now. It's not going to happen. Um, okay. All right. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll tell you the uh, order. Um, again, uh, the order is uh, a red a demon. Uh, I was going to put myself in the line, but I'll put uh, Kobe in front of me. Um, and a metaphor once again in front of me. Uh, I'll allow that too. Okay. All right. Oh, so, sure. Uh, all I wanted to say was, okay. yeah, I was reading some stuff on the like, it, it's so bad. We don't even know like how many vaccines are going to waste because they're not being tracked by states. Um, and like, it's just like a shit ton like uh and like people are like just not taking the vaccine anymore like i think daily doses have like plummeted uh americans there's something fucking wrong with americans dude like uh who knows what the fuck's going on right now why do you think they're going to waste though no because they ex expiring they, yeah they expire yeah. the expiration date is not as soon as you think it is though i i okay i'll just like whatever dude i'll just think an article okay that'd be great uh, okay, so uh, let's go to um, a demon, Kobe, metaphor, and then myself, okay? Yeah, uh, so a couple of things. Uh, to address uh, the heatedness of the panel, yeah, it's a heavy issue, but, you know, also when people stride in saying how they are, I'm here to educate you, and you get that from an entire uh, side of the panel, yeah, uh, you're going to get a little pushback, you know, when you, especially when you're like, I'm here to educate you with this that I just ripped out my ass. Um, absolutely going to get some pushback. Um, and then to, to talk about the, the, um, issue with, um, uh, that Kobe brought up with regard to, um, like having more facilities, uh, you, you brought, you know, parallels to Factorio. Well, if this is a new, indeed a new thing, and we've been able to spin up these, uh, pr this ability to produce it, certainly that can be shared with other countries. The more facilities that are working up, the faster it will get up to speed. And it's, I think we can say at this point, it's pretty fucking important that we get this stuff up to speed in every place that we possibly can. Um, and uh, to address Sharpie's uh, points about this, there's no reason not to remove IP in this case. It is only, it only serves to be a hindrance in this. Now, it is possible that there won't be much of a change. However, I think that there is enough evidence in saying, between saying the number of, co of countries that are petitioning for us to, for everyone to waive IP to agree upon, I think there's a lot of people in the world who would strongly disagree with your position. Most of these people infinitely more qualified than yourself. We're talking about hundreds of nations. If I'm not mistaken, a majority of the world has backed on supporting um, the uh, the waiving of IP rights. I wonder why that what might no. be. It, is that not true? Did not somebody cite a 150 uh, no, it's not true. Even a recent poll in the United States says that most United States people are against it. I'm sorry, and then I'm there's sorry. A, my, there's my mistake. Also a poll, um, my mistake then. Um, if we're talking about individual people, if we're polling individual people, that's probably not true. But uh, did we not have a citation of a 150 country pact? Uh, 140. Uh, 140. 140? Okay, sorry. How many? Can we get a reminder of how many countries there are in the world again? Isn't that about uh, 200 and, 280 somewhere well, wait, in that ballpark? Well, so, hold on. I'm sorry. Like, uh, can I ask you a question? Like, what was this pact? And if it was just governments, I don't really care. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not being an asshole. Like, I don't really care what, a, what the necessarily like, the government. I, I, it has to be a combination of government. I, I, will, I, I will find you. I will find you. Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, if we can get that number, that'd be amazing. Because if we're For talking sure. about approximately half the world, um, uh, the governments of half the world and their respective, you know, um, uh, 
disease combating organizations i think that's a big number that we should be willing to take like okay you know what maybe these countries have a point maybe there's some things they're they're literally very concerned about with this ip i think there's a pretty good sign of that we know we know that pharmaceutical companies are very aggressive with their ip when they when there's a lot of money to be made we should remove the profit incentive entirely there should not be a profit incentive in this at all now there's going to be some that we cannot ever get rid of i i agree obviously we have a million different economies all over the world many of them are capitalist many of them are deeply corporate and okay there's not much we can do but we should remove every bit of the profit incentive from this that we can because it can do nothing but slow us down we want to get all those you know to go into factory we want to get all those refineries up and running so that we can have the pieces we need to actually combat this and future viruses which we know are coming so you know i i, I think that there's um i i think that there's a a a a presumption of of ep, of 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 expertise in that happens in in requoting um the the talking points of of essentially pharmaceutical corporations and pharmaceutical corporation advocates that overlooks the actual good that could be done and once again i'll state it because i know that this is going to be I, I know that even restating this won't matter i don't think that ip is the only thing or not even close or even the most important thing standing in the way of vaccine distribution but it does nothing but impede and we should be willing to back off of that okay um the next person in line is okay uh we'll go to uh kobe metaphor and then myself kobe please okay um, yeah, so I, again, again, like, I mean, perhaps this is just going to be the kind of like central disagreement, at least between like me and like specifically Demon Mama. I would just say, like, I'm a little worried that uh, focusing on the waiving of the vaccine patents is going to cause downstream the effects that are going to be worse than is right now, and that we can deal That's with the the, all the problems that we were just talking about. Of, like, we need to build our factorial, uh, humanity need, needs to build our factorial factory, but we can deal with that through other means. Uh, so, uh, you know, maybe that's just uh, that. The one thing I didn't want to say, I did forget to say this earlier, um, that thing you brought up with the Bill Gates and the, the Oxford thing, I, I, uh, Dr. Heem talked about that, and I read an article about that. Completely agreed, that's completely fucked up. But th that looked like to be more with the as Zernanica, as Nanica, I can't, I don't know how to pronounce that. But the AZ one, Astra, that one, that one. Uh, that, yeah, that vaccine, uh, which is not an mRNA vaccine, and is, I think that he actually has like financial interest in that specific vaccine. So that seemed like fucked up. Uh, and, you know, I, 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 to be honest, I would much rather have a vaccine this being done by like universities than by corporations if I could choose anything. But that's just, you know, to Demon Mama's point, like, I, I, I agree with you, right? Like, I don't like the idea that we're choosing between corporations in Islamabad and corporations in Chicago and in and, and, and Berlin, right? I agree that that's like not the ideal, right? But that is just like the fact of the matter is that most countries in the world have, at least in the West, have their have a lot of their production in like, like, well, like private industry. At one right? quick like, note on that is that I, 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 I hear what you're saying, but don't don't you realize how um, making it a, a standard that we don't enforce like IP on a global scale for life saving or preventative medication that would start the process for us to actually have universities be able to set up their their own thing that is pu publicly funded or nonprofit incentive? We while the, as long as the IP exists, as long as we uphold that IP law, that will never happen. So, so I I, so I do agree that. But the problem is, is that we have to think of like a temporal situation. We're in the middle of a pandemic. We need to specifically both produce all the other vaccines we need for typical stuff and this new very specific vaccine. Well, but I as Joe Biden showed, as a Joe Biden showed, it's just so easy. You just write it off. You say, nope, we're not going to back these up. Good luck. Sorry, that's not going to happen. And we're not going to back these up and we're not going to carry out lawsuits on behalf of you over this IP. Getting Waving the IP is one of the easiest steps and it removes a major potential um, roadblock and demonstrates yeah. good faith. So to be very, very, very clear, I, I, I understand that like we're, you know, this is a big panel and we're debating this lots of people. My position has never been that I think that there isn't, we need an ironclad to keep these patents in. One that I'm making is, is that the issue that we're dealing with there right here is not going to be solved, right? The issue of getting this, of getting the production up is not going to be solved by doing things with the patents. Oh, yeah. That is an issue that is a much more downstream effect. And the idea of like, we don't need patents on life saving drugs. That's a little bit of a heart that I, I would argue that blows the conversation a little bit too out of proportion because like I was saying, a buterol, life-saving drug. My life would be garbage if I didn't have a buterol. Buterol, very, very, very simple to make. Much more, you know, comparatively to the mRNA. So I, you know, I, I get two. I feel like there's two points there, and I agree a little bit there. So, uh, but yeah, that, that's all they have. Um, over a okay, hundred countries. I uh, I put a link in chat about the uh, countries and the, the waiver thing. Um, in the the VC chat. Um, 
uh, again, my Discord. Over half. See these uh, links is there. I read the 140. I know I read the 140 somewhere, but it says over 100 now. I didn't say exactly how many, but I know I read 140 somewhere. I just can't like find it on my fucking tabs. Um, but over so 100 over 50 percent of the of the rec yeah. of the recognized countries in the world are are yeah, over 50 yeah. percent are are saying we really would benefit from this happening. I don't know. When we're talking about a global pandemic, it seems pretty weird to listen to like. I don't know. Not to not to okay. invoke Bill Gates again, but to listen to Bill Gates and the and the companies that have a vested interest in it, and not the desires of of the company of the countries that are actually going to be dealing with this. So yeah, I mean, okay, I'm sorry. Just I mean, like I'll look into this, but just I don't know if this is that great of an argument. I mean, like how many countries around the world say that Taiwan is part of the People's Republic of China? We're not. Right? Like, we're not talking about. We're not talking about regional conflicts. We're talking about imp impediments making, to a to a pandemic, agree, but, though. The point that I'm making is, is that these very complicated issues don't necessarily or not necessarily going to be reflected by whether or not governments sign pat or sign petitions for things. That's the only point that I'm making. Oh, I mean, I don't know. I just, it just seems to me like the conflict of interest would be bigger on the side of the corporations that literally own the patent, and then the then the countries whose people are dying and really just want to get the vaccine and make sure that they're not going to get fucked over again like they do every other time U.S. puts a chokehold on life-saving medication or or life-saving inventions. The problem is that even so this proposal of the WTO takes literally a unilateral agreement. So if one country says no, it doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah, but that's not. Well, okay. but that's neither here nor there. See, so yeah, Sharpie, since yeah, since you're interrupted, yeah, that's so what? That doesn't mean anything. Um, we're talking about whether it should be uh, the case. No, I know the you're fact fine. that there I'm will be obstruction. Um, um, the fact that there will be an obstruction is nothing. And I do actually have, there's another solution here um, that I haven't gotten a chance to get to. Um, but the fact that there's obstruction in and of itself is not evidence that removing that obstruction would not be beneficial. But, okay, sorry. I, sorry, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, metaphor, and then I'll, I'll go. Bye. Okay, so um, we keep bringing up Bill Gates, um, which is, I suppose, fine. But, I mean, you can't argue with the fact that AstraZeneca is the most widely distributed vaccine in the world, and he's making it at cost and selling it at cost. So I don't know what other alternative you want in place besides that system. Um, what else? What else? Um, I think from the very beginning, I've advocated for supplying money and helping to set up so they've all backed other off. manufacturers via the WHO. It was right in my opening statement. Um, hmm. regulation. I think we're we're kind of splitting up regulation and IP. Uh, regulation is tied directly. I said to that IP. in my. Uh, you're able to regulate these industries because of the IP that's held. There's a reason that uh, Johnson and Johnson discovered the issue in emergent biosolutions when they were producing the vaccine for Johnson and Johnson via licensing. And then the FDA put Johnson and Johnson in charge of that vaccine. And then Johnson and Johnson later decided that emergent biosolutions was no longer going to make the Johnson and Johnson vaccine because they could not make it uh, efficaciously and well. In fact, they messed up ingredients and they were about to release an entire batch of Johnson and Johnson vaccine that was made incorrectly. That could have had disastrous outcomes. How does that support uh, the pharmaceutical his argument? industry is by far the most regulated market in the world. Period. And this has to do okay. with ip no it doesn't how can you explain how it does have to do with ip because like what you what you just explained there like didn't have anything to do with ip you just talked about some random bureaucratic internal bullshit to johnson and johnson i don't know how that's relevant how does that I prove talked, ip regulation so johnson, has nothing to do with ip johnson and johnson has ip of the johnson and johnson vaccine okay they licensed rights for that to emergent biosolutions okay emergent biosolutions was ready to pass that on to okay. make a batch and because johnson and johnson has licensing rights over emergent biosolutions their quality and control team was in the chain to inspect all the paperwork before emergent biosolutions released that vaccine that they produced you're just johnson and johnson discovered the issue and then the fda came in johnson and johnson signaled for the fda to come in who then also inspected it there's multiple levels of regulation that goes into these countries and goes into these companies. What you just described, uh, Johnson and Johnson finding a flaw in their own subsidiaries problem and then invoking the government. It's not that, a has, subsidiary. that has nothing to do it's an entirely with IP. different company. You failed to indicate how your, your I know that you 
No, no, you, you're, no, no, you, you have, because you how don't does that have anything to know wait, what how does, IP no, is explain or to me. how explain regulation to me. Wait, 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 no, no, please, but please. I, I, I have explained Please it. try. I've told you multiple times. Okay. And do you want to do, 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 do a chat poll if anybody as understands? Possible, as simply as possible, how a company having IP allows them to oversee the other companies that are making their product. They, wait, they could do that anyway. Is, they could do no, that they anyway. Wait a minute. Without it, IP. Wait a, okay, hold on a second. Hold How on. does Johnson wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Excuse me. Excuse me. Company Listen, it sounds to me. A vaccine. It sounds to that me they like they don't have IP rights for. It sounds to me like How? the. Excuse explain me. Excuse. To me. I'll explain to you. It sounds to me like it, like contrary to your claims, you are not the one who understands IP because you see, if Johnson and Johnson enters into a contract with a manufacturer, that is where the problem. Lies. That has nothing why to do with would that. Why would that company enter into a contract if Johnson and Johnson didn't have that IP? Wait, I'm sorry. Are if you are you aware? Exist, wait, are you right? are you if, trying if to IP, say? Wait, sorry, I'm, sorry. I'm Hold on, no, no. I want to be clarifying question. Clarifying question. Do you think that if we if we got rid of IP, that there would be nobody manufacturing anything whatsoever? No, that's not my. Thing. Okay, so, so then he, let me explain. Wait, wait, let me explain. Johnson you asked a question. I'm going to explain to you now. I, I'm going okay, to I'm going to educate it. you now because you've been trying okay, to educate please, everybody. So I'm going to educate you now. Educate See, me. watch what can happen. Once once you get rid of the IP, then guess what? Then Johnson and Johnson doesn't have to oversee it. You can have the government directly oversee the they production didn't of these things. It. They, they didn't were overseeing wait, wait, it. And they, they didn't. Catch they it. didn't because they have the IP. You're arguing against your own no, point no, right the, now. Yes. The reason why we have to go to steps so, between why we have to have a, a corporation FDA that calls the government instead of the emergent bio solutions regardless okay. of whether or not they're licensed through johnson and johnson the <gasps> fda only inspects these companies on like a biannually or annually basis because they that's how we catch, have it set up right now did, that's, that has nothing not, to do with ip this has nothing to do not with ip the, this is regulation that we can change we can change this regulation catch, without yeah we could change the regulation with ip as well but you're not what? listening how not okay, 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 so, okay 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 oh my god this guy holy shit jump in uh there will be my turn so turn things around make your point the, 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 the crux of the point is that Johnson & Johnson caught the mess up because Johnson & Johnson has the IP, and because they had the IP, Emergent Biosolutions had to license with them to produce the vaccine. If there was no Still IP— Still nothing. He's just repeating himself. And— He's just repeating himself. Emergent Biosolutions was able to produce the vaccine without any oversight of Johnson & Johnson. We would have had it in a whole batch— of Johnson & Johnson vaccine or whatever generic version that Emergent Biosolutions called their vaccine in market— made incorrectly that's that's a very nice story but that doesn't indicate anything you just repeated the story again we could have just you, what you're saying is you that can, because you, honestly the, no, no, metaphor, listen listen metaphor, i can metaphor, metaphor, metaphor stop metaphor let her finish please. yeah what what you what you've stated here is that johnson and johnson caught it before the fda caught it because the current system relies yeah, on a, excuse it. me relies on a public private partnership that isn't necessary that it doesn't necessarily private, have private to, membership okay um, you're really trying hard, but I think that like you've reached the end of your like talking points and it's just like you're like repeating them I, I don't know if you know this, but the FDA is a public organization Johnson & Johnson is a private organization now Johnson & Johnson's co Contractor or subsidiary or manufacturer or whatever because of the current system that we use then they were able to call it in But guess what if we release the IP and we work directly with manufacturers without having a bunch of a, a third-party company Johnson & Johnson licensing all this stuff out You can just have the FDA directly inspect it and guess what if they have access to all of the information the recipes the manufacturing Congratulations, you figured it out and I know now you're going to go and you're going to tell the exact same story again as if it changes anything like you did the last three times you stole the exact same story without indicating what that has to do with IP at all because it doesn't have anything to do with IP. What you've explained is an issue with regulatory procedure. That's it. That has nothing to do with IP. IP is how you determine who owns a product, who gets the money from a product, not how it's regulated. All right. So uh, you're still muted. Um... So, uh, I, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because I asked Stephen mom to stop. She stopped. I asked you to stop, and then you kept going. So, please, knock it off. I don't know why this is happening. I don't know why. It doesn't need to. I agree, but, Shambles. Uh, Thank yeah, you. No, I, again, we can't hear you. So, I don't know why you keep talking. But, okay, we can't hear you. <sighs> anyway, wait, I'm going to take my turn. Um, so, and to uh, respond a little bit to this... Um, with, uh, uh, I made some Sharpie enemies tonight, for sure. That, um, uh, 
practicality says that we just leave the system as it is conveniently once again uh practicality uh leave the us and europe in the driver's seat right um and there is a reason to give it of IP. The reason is to let, uh, you keep saying there's no reason to do this, right? There's no reason. We, we stay at the reason, right? Uh, because IP gets in the way of these manufacturers uh, of being able to, excuse me, um, uh, being, uh, being able to begin uh, manufacturing these drugs, right? That's what's getting in the way. That's one of the reasons, right? I think uh, That's Kobe true, and our points is actually... Uh, you're welcome, similar. Brim. It's You're very welcome. Just a matter of Me degrees. making Kobe, enemies? Kobe says it's not that big of a deal. I think it is a big of a deal, but sure, right? Um, but uh, Kobe acknowledges, just, just as I acknowledge, and I think uh, Charlotte and Dean Mama already acknowledge, is that um, uh, there are more than one uh, set of challenges, right? Um, and, and Sharpie, you threw out this straw man, very convenient straw man, very nice, um, very beautiful, um, saying that, well, um, the people here, um, uh, well, oh, oh, well, um, that getting rid of IP wouldn't solve um, the COVID the next day. No one said that. So no, like no one agreed. We all agree that's not the case, right? All right. So giving yeah the, the IP um, wouldn't um, be like the single uh, uh, shot, um, the single the magic bullet to to end this crisis. Certainly not, right? We still have the issue that Kobe was so uh, effectively brought up. Yeah, that, I wasn't being so mean. I was just a little aggro. States, right? And there's, I'm sure around the world are hesitant to take vaccines, right? So even if uh, uh, Demon Mama, uh, uh, Charlotte, and I got exactly what we wanted, yes, we would still have other challenges. Okay, great. Right. We're Correct. talking about getting rid of one obstacle. You're like, why are we talking about IP? Because that's the, the yeah, whole... Yeah, it's a little weird, Gapesh, a, but In terms whatever. of the debate. That's why we're talking about IP, because we're talking about IP. I don't know what else we'll be talking about. I don't know. Um, okay. Uh, so in yep. terms of... Um, Agreed, shambles. Uh, uh, and so, uh, and so for meta metaphor, uh, talking about um, uh, like what system do we want, right? You you, you uh, mentioned that um, it was the Johnson & Johnson is uh, manufacturing their um, vaccine at cost. Okay, great. 100%. Good. Um, that's actually. not what we were talking about, though. Uh, we weren't talking about like some sort of massive, uh, like I mean, like, and I know why you brought it up is because usually we can rely on the tender mercies of uh, capitalism when it comes to big farmer to jack up the prices. In fact, uh, doing research for this, I was uh, looking, uh, I came up across um, what happened during the AIDS epidemic, and uh, we had uh, drugs for AIDS epidemic that cost ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars in these rich countries, right? Did it actually cost ten thousand dollars to produce? No, no, it didn't. But they did it anyway, play, right? You can you can rely on, on American capitalism, right? On on big pharma to jack up the price. But they didn't do it this time. That's great. But also, we didn't say that they did. So I don't know. Why we're bringing that up. That's that um cost. I guess some countries. Oh, make, we've been uh, drawing blood of our own, right, Danny? It's been a, it's been a it, spicy even day. If, for instance, um, Bangladesh or India or Canada. Other Welcome, Danny. Nations, Happy to uh, have you. The manufacturers in Canada uh, were creating the vaccine, right? Um, yeah, there would I can still hear, I can be hear that, that issue. Um, and there are other ways around that. We can just simply, hey, we'll buy this for you. We'll, we'll give you. We'll give you these uh, uh, these uh, vaccines. We'll we'll uh, fucking subsidize the entire run. Why not? Because it benefits us. Benefits all. Yeah. Somebody there rage quit the stream. In India and in India. That is apparently a, a global concern, I believe is the term they, that they use. Yeah, um, I do Q&A after, uh, yep. might, might be a, a bigger issue. I don't know exactly uh, um, how it's going to be a bigger issue, whether it be um, uh, vaccine resistance, but something everyone's looking at, yep. right? India, Some guy as, as rage right now, is, is having their own Holy very own shit, American Danny. style shit show. I'm so sorry. Um, That's a lot. And uh, people are dying, right? So the sooner we get uh, uh, these vaccines into people's arms, the better. Oh, I'm we being very, very bad faith. The problem as is... Um, is the actual levels of distribution. And again, I'll repeat it. Even if everything they say is true in terms of uh, uh, these um, limits in uh, materials, right? Even that is true, yeah. that still doesn't mean that um, uh, uh, that that isn't proof that our current uh, method of distribution is efficacious, right? Um, as we can see- I'm a demon. And, and the no only type of faith I have numbers, is bad. Not a single one of them distributes the numbers that there are countries dozens and dozens of countries right most countries they haven't gotten a single shot not one dose yet not one dose it's a failure of uh of this um manufacturing scheme it's a failure of of u.s capitalism uh american style capitalism um it's a fair a big farm fair on all ends right and it didn't have to be this way it didn't have to be this way um we have we have a glut 
we, we talked about this last time, you and I, Sharpie, right? How Canada ha, ha, has a glut ha, 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 can of, be? Uh, um, of vaccines, right? And uh, there's another um, uh, thing I was going to uh, bring up, but uh, it said basically, and hold on, if I can uh, search my notes here. It's all good. Um, the VOD will be up soon, Lady Caldana. Canada uh, will have, uh, Canada is going, I believe Canada was going to have their booster shots um, uh, before other countries even get their first shot. They don't, they don't even get their first shot. Okay, so there's many other ways. There's many ways to do these. And we're always, we're talking about the best way, the best way to handle this, right? So um, intellectual, uh, I, a metaphor brings up this nonsense that intellectual property rights is the only thing keeping us from what, um, uh, uh, um, from poor manufacturing um, uh, outcomes. No, that's regulation. Regulation is what's keeping us uh, in line, right? Like, True, listen, Mixed what Dizzy. Oh my God, if, about the uh, long Johnson sword. Johnson Johnson didn't have oh my the God, IP Mixed rights, Dizzy. Right? Well, then we could simply delegate another body to do the regulation, right? It's saying the FDA doesn't wouldn't catch it because the FDA doesn't inspect enough. Well, I, I agree with you, hundred percent. In fact, I've talked hey, about that's this all, that's um, really previously good, Danny. a long time ago on this very channel, talking about the fears of, of, of the FDA and their uh, regulatory processes. And as the Obama says, we can just change that. Hey, we can actually. Uh, instead of um, having an FDA that's been hollowed out, right, because, you know, regulatory capture, the thing that happens here in the States, right, um, instead of doing that, um, we can decide, well, hey, we're going to actually keep these companies in line. Uh, we can, we'll decide that uh, we will uh, hit these plants. You want to hit them weekly? You want to uh, uh, do the weekly? Yes, we can do that. We can hire enough inspectors to do it weekly. If that's what you want, well, hell, that's what I want. Keep these motherfuckers on their toes. I agree, right? Um, but we don't need Johnson & Johnson uh, to keep us um, um, from a bad batch. And in fact, um, they, they barely uh, uh, kept that from happening um, as it stands. But Ooh. once again, mm. well, we just doesn't get another body. It's that simple. That's simple. I don't, I don't know. Well, intellectual property does not um, uh, guarantee safety. I don't That's think so. That's not what it does, right? I feel like you don't understand. Prime is in property. this debate. He's both know, moderator and debater all, here. Right? It simply um, uh, says that you, that we have the exclusive rights to this technology, whatever it is. If you want to use our technology, you got to come through us. That's it. That's all it does. Um, but around that, wrapped around that, is the ability to tell uh, other co uh, corporations that you, yes, you, um, have uh, the ability um, because we we say uh, we say uh, we say so. You have the ability to use our technology, right, and on our terms, rather on the terms sort of the, opinions uh, most are good. efficacious uh, for spreading this vaccine all around the world. Wait, but so, see, I, that means that Pan is winning. I, I, I don't because know if I'm winning, your, Pan wins. That's property, how it goes. Right? Uh, you're, you're I win, the imps win. That's, That's how it goes, matters. right? It doesn't matter here. Intellectual property simply doesn't do what you're saying it does. Okay, uh, I'm done. But anyone else can respond. Oh, oh, uh, if, if metaphor wants to respond, I I can let him. Um, and then um, we'll go to uh, Kobe. All right. And then anyone else, let me know if you have your hand. All right. I'm in traffic. Okay, I see. You. I see. You. All right. So uh, metaphor, go ahead, please. Yeah, I wasn't throwing around my credentials in a way to try to like a big dick swing in here. I was just trying to specify like my familiarity with yes, the situation. Yes, he was. And yes, you how were. I have a very intimate yes, relationship you are. with with this actual issue like in real life like, it's like what i do 40 hours a week like five days a week doesn't mean that's all cook though so i'm sorry if it came across as me being condescending that was not the attempt well i mean when you say you refuse to be educated i've come here to educate you yeah it does tend to have that effect so i, I didn't i didn't say that yes you literally did no i think that was feline Maybe, maybe I'm misremembering. You, you, could, so, you could go back and then look fair if you enough. Want. Yeah, just saying though. Yeah, so it seems like um, I just wanted to just quickly say that uh, that booster shot uh, thing that I, I mentioned, I put that link in chat. Uh, once again, I'll, I'll read the exact line. Canada, I just wanted this quick. Canada just made a deal with Pfizer to get 35 million doses of boosters by next year, which means they will arrive. They will arrive most uh, when they arrive. Most people uh, yet, around the world will wanted, not have received their first shot. Oh, so I, sick. I, I put that we'll watch that after. Chat. Go we'll watch that clip after. Please go ahead, Kobe. Good, Good, Good one, Explosion. Yeah, for sure. So um, it does seem like we're, at um, least from my, my perspective, hitting a little bit of an impasse um, on this. So, you know, uh, hopefully we have a, well, a couple hundred people watching us right now. Hopefully we can do a little good. I put a link in Demon Mama's chat and a link in Prime's chat to Islamic Relief Canada. They're a charity that does uh, work in Palestine. And they're specifically uh, trying to, they're very cool because they do two, two things. They have a 
mental health line for young Palestinians, which is a big thing. You know, a lot of times the wounds that get seen are the ones that are like outside, not the ones that are inside. And also they're helping with the vaccine. So if you have, if anybody out there has a dollar or two to chip over there, that can help some people that are in need going forward. Um, it seems really just a little, you know, the, like I'll, I'll, this is going to be my last statement. I mean, obviously I'll, I'll keep for this, I'll save for the rest of it, but this is kind of my take on this. Just through my looking through this, it kind of looks like uh, at the end of the day, vaccine, the world is going to get vaccinated by, regardless of IP or not, through by the very few places that can produce vaccines, producing them, and then them being distributed to the rest of the world from those centers. Can there be more places? Can we do it more? Yes. I just, I'm worried. We talked about the idea of like vaccine hesitancy. I'm worried that uh, that's going to be even more if we have vaccines coming out of countries uh, that uh, there's not, there's less regulation of, that don't have as good of regulated uh, uh, pharmaceutical industries and people end up getting sick. That is a hypothetical. I cannot prove that. And it is true that right now we can go and look at the bonfires that are going through the night to cremate people in India. But, and so I, I agree there. So like, you know, that, that is a real problem. Uh, but you know, I'm, just, I'm worried that we're going to get ourselves in a shitty situation in which, I don't know. Um, like I said, I don't think that just getting jabs and arms is like the most important. It has to be jabs and arms efficiently as possible and the safest that we can. So that's a, thank you for talking to everybody. And I'm sorry that was heated, but I think that it's been a good discussion. But I'm, sorry, I'm not okay. leaving. Okay, last. okay. okay. Um, then uh, we'll uh, go to Sharpie. Um, yeah. Yeah, so look, this is the main point that I want to make here. So we keep talking about IP and everything else is an issue too. You guys acknowledge that there's all these other factors that are potentially an issue. But here's my thing. So if we had a row of dominoes, okay, and typically you start with knocking over the first domino and that knocks over every other domino in a row, okay, this would be like you guys choosing to knock over the last domino. That's what IP is. It represents basically the smallest problem in this chain of other problems. So if you want to knock over the smallest issue, that's Watch fine. This. But it's not that it's going to make an impact on the rest of all the other dominoes that are ahead of that. Okay, so let's talk about a couple of, of other things. So Prime, you said that um, other countries would... Why wouldn't we just adopt every? Why wouldn't every country adopt the same regulation? So the U.S. has these regulations. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. But go ahead. Well, you you said that countries should just adopt our regulations, like you said. Other country. Okay, you characterized our argument as saying that countries had no regulation. That's how you characterized our argument. Let Let me know if you want me to to tell me what my argument is. Characterized our argument. Go ahead. Do you want? Can I respond? Okay. Okay. The claim sure. that I heard you make sure. is that I know, other Craig, countries it's been basically bad. don't have any regulation. No. No, I didn't. I didn't say. I didn't mention okay, other countries. So when I was talking, do I want me to? Brazil? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't. It's not what I said. It's not what I said at all. No, I didn't what mention. Did you say then? That's fine. Okay. Sure. Sure. Um, I was talking about um, uh, IP in terms of how it works uh, in in the states, right? I'm talking no, no, about no, regular, and I, I know, I know, I'm trying to answer your question, right? Um, and in that discussion, right, I was talking about um, uh, the FDA and how the FDA uh, uh, regulates specifically because mm -hmm. Medford brought up the FDA. I did not mention other countries. I was talking about our Yeah, nation, it, was a, it was a little right? bit of a- And how we um, inspect, Goofball right? of a panel. So, uh, I had Medford fun brought up the point. Medford was acting like other countries didn't have any regulations. I didn't say that. I didn't say, I did not say that. You heard that? That's not what I said. That's, I talked yeah. about metaphor. I brought up the point the metaphor made about the FDA. I didn't you bring up other countries. You said that we had the FDA and that metaphor was acting like other countries have nothing. I didn't say that. I, I didn't say that. I don't know. Look back in the VOD. I didn't say that. I don't remember that either. <laughs> but Does I mean, anybody I else say remember that? that? I don't remember do that. Regulations. I mean, I'll leave you asking me. I think I'll leave do I have regulations. And we can, um, if, if you want me to answer that question that you're opposing we are right hey so we remember we got more content after body, this it ain't right? over after that this sees these plants they say hey, okay if we're going to give you this technology right then um we have these inspectors these like internationally recognized inspectors they're going to go in they're going to be sitting there they're going to be sitting there the entire fucking time right um make How sure that you you're up that to code up? right so like uh, it might take a long time which is why we shouldn't have, we should have started from the very beginning right we should have raised these intellectual property rights from the very beginning, which is an argument that I did make previously. So that's if you fine. ever asking me that, that should be the case. No, but no, no, I, that's, that's not fine. the point that I I'm made to metaphor. You, but go ahead. So please. so so if we go ahead and release these rights right now, how long do you think it would take a body like that to set up these standard regulations amongst the whole? It's because I always do a good move after care. that MPS silo. I don't care. See, because I Sharpie, 
Sharpie, I know what you're doing because you, so you've done this. So, no, 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 hold on, listen, listen, Sharpie, 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 look. Um, so again, now you're going to do this whole like uh, um, escalating um, uh, timeline, right? Well, well, if it takes 100 years, why, do you can't, like, no. No, I'm not. No, no, no. no but, you're, but, then, but then you threw away, you threw a 10-year uh, timeline. You just tossed that out as if that's going to be the case, okay? <laughs> we know that's not going to be the case. We know it's not going to be any 10-year timeline, right? But you're, but you're going to try to trap me to say, well, if it takes so long, no, why even bother? This was the same uh, argument the metaphor made. If it takes so long, why even bother? Well, again, we should have started previously. That's my main argument. But beyond that, right, we should get, um, uh, if getting started today helps us get ready, get us, um, Get us in a place uh, within a year that we start making these vaccines, right? That'd be better than uh, waiting on the compassion of the richer nations to actually get their asses in line. So go ahead, please. Yeah, so I think when I said earlier that you could find me at twitch.tv slash tisco95, that you really took that to heart and you thought I was going to take this to the It's extreme. true, you were, Kobe. Like, that's not where I'm going. The reality is that if you, if you look at this, okay, if you're saying that it's going to take 10 years or five years or whatever it is to get there i'm telling you that it's much whatever your timeline is which you're not willing to give me a timeline i get that that's fine but i'm telling you that the timeline is much faster just letting johnson and johnson and these other companies outsource these vaccines independently and expedite and and send these vaccines externally to other countries that's going to be way faster ultimately than doing what you're advocating Watch for this. and just releasing this IP, letting anyone go at it, letting any mom and Now I got get one. Vaccine, now watch this, imps. Get ready. Of whatever it is, when I get my chance, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Get ready. Get your limited. pogs ready. Now we're going to take these limited materials and send them to the companies that don't know how to manufacture the vaccine, which you still haven't received. I've got my closing statement ready. You still want to go to this company in Canada that literally you've nev yeah, Kobe never seems produced cool here. vaccine ever. That's your favorite company on the planet, apparently, and you think that they're going to be the greatest thing on earth to produce these vaccines, and you have literally no evidence. I know your mind is. Please stop putting words in my mouth. I would love it if you do stop doing that. I would love it if you stop doing that. You keep doing that. You're doing it too. I'm just following the actions that you're doing. No, I'm not. Your audience. Okay, look, uh, oh, it is I'm not my favorite, favorite kind of, uh, company in the world. Nonsense. Okay, this is what they try to do, right? Um, they take one example. Oh, it's a company has never created that before. You gave the example. You know, the, yes, I know, I know, I and I admitted this company has, but I also gave an example of another company, right? Other companies and and different uh, areas of the world who have also uh, said they're going to stop up the case, but you guys haven't said anything about that because you don't, you haven't even bothered to research those companies, right? Right? You got know, one company that says they have right, but Ben what did I tell you, but uh, that they can't. What did I right? tell you? Who says, uh, who say they have the ability to do exactly this, right? But you know better. You, you seem to know better than all these other uh, 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 companies, right? Because well, I guess you work in the medical field. Great. Um, you know better uh, than them. Um, as to what I think there's a walk on afterwards, are, right? Shambles. Oh, okay, yeah, great. Throwing it back at great. me like great. I wanted it. I said great. it in my intro. Great. Great. Thank so, you. You don't so, need to bring it great. up again. Great. 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 So. So once again, these companies say they have the ability to do so, right? I think there's a walk-on afterwards, company. yeah. I believe that they, they, they do a the walk-on panel after, I'm I think, these if I remember correctly. We've all signed this uh, pact saying that uh, uh, signing this waiver, or uh, yeah. waiving this waiver, um, will uh, we'll, uh, yeah, take Do down it. Bear. I be I'm believing uh, your boy, uh, Joe Biden. But we're Joe doing Biden, some react content Joe after Biden. this. I, don't know, I can do it too. Um, uh, when he says that um, uh, uh, Joe Biden has has come on board with uh, getting rid of the IP waiver uh, as well. Uh, and now, hey, let's bring up Bill uh, Bill Gates once again. Bill Gates is now in favor of getting rid of the I, uh, uh, of, of, of uh, waiving IP, right? Of the Bill Gates Foundation in a statement that you yourself linked. Yes, Bill yeah, Gates. it's very silly. Foundation is now saying that as well. Great. All right. So everyone is on board. You aren't for whatever reason. That's okay, right? But I'm making the case. Why not? Oh yeah, they buff the revolver. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah, they buff um, the revolver. And never call us Bill uh, Gates because we disagree with Bill Gates. Okay, we disagree <laughs> with Bill Gates. You can never call us Bill Gates. Ups. And and my final um thing on this uh is um uh the compulsory license something I I kept forgetting to bring up. Um, so a reading from an article, and I'll put it again in uh, BC chat. Uh, that's what led uh by a lease of the Canadian company that my favorite company. Um, to consider a compulsory license. In the mid-90s, the World Trade Organization created rules that allow countries to uh, issue compulsory licensing through their own legal and regulatory provisions. 
Canada's specific rule has only been used once before in the mid-2000s to make HIV medicines uh, to export to Rwanda. Uh, if the Canadian government allows Biolis to move ahead on this, it would mean the company could make the vaccine and export it if they pay Johnson & Johnson a fee. Um, again, I'll put that link in chat. That's another way that we can solve these things. I'm done. Demon Mama, it was your turn. Unless you have anything else to say, Sharpie. No, it's fine. Go to Demon Mama. You're fine. All right. Uh, let's go, Demon Mama. And I think we're about to wrap up on this any which way. But... Yeah, so and I'll we'll give you all an statements. outro to make sure. Okay, cool. Okay. Wait, wait. So is this closing statements and then we're going to do our final like plug and outro and stuff? Or, or... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Why don't you do a closing statements and we'll do our yeah. Uh, outro. Yeah, please. So... Um... Like I stated at the beginning of this panel, um, there was going to be a lot of fear-mongering, a lot of magical numbers pulled out of one's ass, which we saw again and again and again. And if you get the min the, the minim most minimal pushback on an audacious claim, like, there will everyone will die if you do it your way, or this will make all kinds of mutant viruses, and you ask for a single citation, and instead you get the Encyclopedia Britannica in print, 12-volume edition, and you also get some uh, metaphors about dominoes. Hey, look, I, I don't think the domino metaphor really applies well to a a, a multi uh a, a multi-variable problem like this but just so you know if you if you knock the the last domino it will still knock all the other dominoes down like that's how physics works if you um you know if you knock one at the end it'll knock all the other ones if you knock the first one it'll also knock it, it's just a physics thing so yeah um i feel like the arguments on this side a lot of people came in like real 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 hot real ready to to just you know rep that that bill gates talking points those those uh you know those pharmaceutical company talking points and with the slightest bit of scrutiny their entire argument fell us fell apart and we ended up with basically their entire team um uh, conceding that ip has essentially nothing to do with what we were talking about here and then they wanted to talk about other issues even though this panel was specifically about ip so i i rest the case that the ip is a needless uh a needless um roadblock that causes nothing but um but hardship in this um w waiving ip will allow for manufacturers to cut out the middleman will allow governments to cut out the middleman and simply uh inspect um production directly will lead to a a uh, a much higher likelihood of the world actually reaching its vaccine goals and there's no real reason not to do it in addition to having the added political benefit of making america not seem like a a a stupid behemoth that fucked up the entire pandemic response and then also fucked up the vaccine response so with all that said i rest my case i think that uh our case speaks for itself thank you I think we spoke for our case, actually. Um, but, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> but, all right. Um, all right. All right. All right. <laughs> um, Kobe, you said that was the last word you wanted to say on things, but if you want to say something else, I, I, would, I, I hate you all. Space. All these stupid mother dumb turkey. I know. Yeah. yeah. You know, at the end of the day, not an expert on this, right? I just, I just researched this at my night shift job uh, over the past couple of nights. Told you. And, told you, you know, that was going to be pog. This. Again, at the end of the day, I don't. I mean, my sister got COVID. She got a nerve disorder from it called Drain Bar Syndrome. My mom is unemployed because of COVID. I work at a hotel and I've been having to deal with this shit for a year. I don't. I want. Don't want to deal with this shit. I want this shit to be vaccinated. It just seems like we got to do it in a good way. And I think we can all agree. To be fair, then we can all agree. Feline that in, left. in this last year, Sharpie a lot of people out. have been wrong on a lot of fucking shit. Bill Gates going back on shit. Be the mass shit. New science. It's a whole. We're dealing with. We're, we're in a new field. We're thinking about new stuff. So it's it was, it's been a pleasure talking to everybody. I'm sorry. Oh, that, you missed you know, a lot. Social confrontation. It's been a hell of a day. Did, spicy topic is what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been. A, you know, it's been. It's been great to be able to go over all this. Okay. Um. Uh, metaphor. Uh. If you want to say anything else. Sprinkle. Thank you, muted. Um. Um. But uh, yeah. <laughs> if you want to say anything else, please, metaphor. Um. Yeah. So. I was excited to talk about this. Um, I don't think we really got Here into comes the waterworks. any of the things I Here wanted comes to talk the about. Waterworks. Um, I don't really want to talk about what we should have done. Uh, I think the entire point is like what we should do with the position Wah. that we are in now Wah. and how we move forward. And the way that I see it is we have two <laughs> options. We have one which will take more time and one which will take less time. And since my goal is to get the whole world vaccinated as quickly and as safely as possible, I'm going to go with the option that takes the less amount of time, which is ramping up production and ramping up exports. Why not both? So much. All right. Um, Why not Red, both? Charlotte, Simple. if you would like to say anything. Uh, I didn't really say a lot because <laughs> um, everyone was going at each other. 
but I kind of wanted to go into earlier, but we can't anymore, um, into just like, well, I, I think we should just get rid of IP period um, because I think the mechanisms uh, that like make IP good, which I do think currently IP is, you know, probably uh, better than not for the for most of its history. Um, but like the, we know the mechanisms that cause people to like pursue things because of IP can, that can be replaced through other mechanisms that allow for like more public domain production. Yeah. Um, while still keeping innovation and profitability for firms. Yeah, it was wasn't it, hippie punk. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say. Uh, nationalize healthcare. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Yeah, let's go. Uh-huh. Uh, Sharpie, um, I, I'm not sure if that was your last statement previously, but if you want to add anything else, I will let me give you that space. Yeah, so number one, let me take the take the volume down a lot here. So number one, chat, please, please go get your vaccine. If there's anyone in chat right now that has not been vaccinated, go take it. Uh, as a conservative, if anybody out there is a vaccine denier or doesn't want to take the vaccine, Please reach out to me. I'd be happy to talk to you, tell you why I've taken it. Everyone in my family. Hell yeah! Taken Good it, job, everybody. Even some more conservative factions than than I am personally. Um, everyone should go take the vaccine. Uh, that being said, um, ultimately, uh, we're kind of at a crossroads here. Uh, our side just does not think, and and based on everything that we've seen, <laughs> that getting rid of the IP our side does is not, think. not going to. <laughs> Uh, make a difference in the, in solving this pandemic ultimately um Whoopsies. while while demon mama likes to laugh and pander to her chat and that's great uh the reality is i was i was that laughing that you said our side doesn't we, think that's all i was oh, just laughing great. that you yeah. said that yeah I, like, i'm sorry that was very funny i'm serious you said that it's great demon mama go ahead wait no i'm <laughs> telling you <laughs> what yeah. the fuck no you're laughing in your chat and making faces okay i'll just me. like i can call it out you jesus are you are you that fragile holy shit that's pretty weird demon mama it's pretty weird that you have this like really Wait, I was weird, laughing at something you said. Dominant oh my please, please. god! On the platform that you... Sharpie, Sharpie, Sharpie. You don't need to address Demon Mama like that. You, you, you addressed her. I don't know why. I need, but like, what's your point on this? No, yeah, I can't so anyways, hear me. I just, I, I clearly, our side does not think that this is the best way to get rid of this pandemic. I've talked about other pragmatic congratulations. This guy's getting, a dumb shit. Getting the Johnson Johnson vaccine and shipping it to other countries. Uh, I don't think anyone else really has introduced a way that's pra pragmatically going to solve this uh, problem or get vaccines in arms very quickly. I don't think that anyone on the other side has a plan that's going to address this in any kind of meaningful way. Getting rid of IP is nice. maybe good in the long term um, from their view, but in the short term, which is really all that we have to focus on right now. It's not going to make a difference in solving this pandemic. And that's why we need to focus on ramping up production, uh, doing everything we can to support the companies that currently have vaccines and producing more of their already efficacious vaccine versus uh, shipping these patent rights to other individuals to produce vaccines that probably won't be nearly as efficacious as the current vaccines. That we why, is have. He, why is he doing another one of these? Wasn't that supposed to be our? Uh, like, I guess I'll, I'll give my uh, closing statement on this. Okay. Uh, oh, and uh, uh, to the chat, uh, fuck, I should have said that before. Um, hey, we're gonna continue on with the content. I should have said that before. Um, uh, the stream is not ending. Oh, the other stream is not ending. Uh, we're gonna go into our oh, open God. welcome panel. Ah, oh, fuck, God damn ending. it. Um, but the stream is not ending. That's Likewise, right. we'll um, be doing we more content going after. To open welcome panel. Right after this, more content coming your way. No need to leave. Same. Uh, um, so uh, to to address uh, the point that Sharpie just made. Um, one is not like uh, these things are mutually exclusive. Like we could, uh, like no one is saying, right? Because the way he's framing this is as if we're, we're saying, oh, well, we got to stop manufacturing <laughs> um, uh, until uh, we get this new, uh, 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 new new scheme in order, right? This new non It's a metaphor, looks like he's order. gonna cry. No, you can still keep on keeping on i respect as kobe doing. for Johnson, not being Johnson, fragile as fuck. Moderna, they can i respect do, kobe for not being fragile vaccines, as, fuck. Uh, uh, as we uh, get up and running on these other factories right um so we're, we're simply saying that we are giving these uh uh countries the ability these uh companies the ability uh to get started right to to know that they can actually start retrofitting the factories right um uh, and getting ready to produce a product hey, without being sued 
into the Stone Age because that's a problem. That's a problem. Yeah, you know, and there's more. So that's what we've been uh, saying. Like, oh, we, we haven't uh, suggested another process. Yeah, we have. Actually, we've been talking about it the entire time. The entire time is to open up the process, Seriously. so that more uh, 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 open up um, uh, the uh, the regulatory uh, situation, so that other uh, uh, oh yeah, you can vote for me if you want to can start producing uh, this as well, right? If you're saying that like. Uh, worry about the efficaciousness of their uh, go go vote in the Guess poll. What? There's a poll we in Prime's chat. Twitch.tv forward slash Prime. Go vote. Say, go hey, vote. Go vote. Like if you have that, you want access to Twitch. Now, this is what I said before. TV forward slash Prime. Caius. Um, if you want access to this technology, well then On that's going to require us to um Thank put you. a uh, uh I didn't um, know they were doing a poll. A, a regulator cool. right in your factory, right? Uh, we can regulate uh um, check as often as needed. To make sure that this is uh, that they are following um, uh, the proper uh, safety guidelines, one way or the other. And um, I guess I'm not going to make that last point. Um, but um, yeah, so that that's Smoking. our process, right? Didn't know what that process was. I'll spell it out for you again, Sharpie. Um, <laughs> that's the process made. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have addressed you like that. I apologize. Um, um, but in any case, that that's what we we're saying. And Kobe was cool. Um, and uh, if there were other parts of your argument that you wanted to get to, thank you for the, voting, the everybody. Thank you for voting for me. I didn't know there was going to be a vote. Twitch.tv forward slash Prime Kais. It is what it is. Uh, but we can continue this conversation into the future. That's okay. Um, all right. Um, I'll say uh, that uh, we'll we'll do uh, outros uh, of these individuals once again. The stream is not ending. The stream is not ending. We're going to have content right after this. Stick around. Hit that follow button. You haven't done so. Uh, yeah, hit that follow button right here. Um, on this channel, hit that notification bell to know I'm going left because we give this content six days a week. Don't want you to out. Landslide? Hit that Fuck follow button. Yes. Come to my channel. Fuck yes. Five Kai, P R I M E C by -E S, and hit that follow button. Fuck I don't want yeah, you to miss we won. Okay. I'm gonna uh, of all these individuals to uh, give a sign out. Red Charlotte, sign out. Uh, follow follow me on Twitter, uh, Red Charlotte. Yeah, underscore. they don't understand how it works, but it's um, okay. <laughs> follow Medlock Thought. Uh. Abolish capitalism. I don't know. That's all I gotta say. I don't know why you're looking like a deer in the headlights when I <laughs> like I like I gave you plenty of warning that I was gonna come to you for this. You're like, what? Uh, me? What? Really? Okay. Um, so thank you, Red Charlotte. And um, Red Charlotte, I appreciate your uh, you coming in. I you know asked you yesterday, hey, if you want to join, and you said, yeah, I'll do it. And, and I really did appreciate you being so kind. All right. Um, thank oh you, goodness. Kobe, as well, for being here. Kobe, again, one of my great mods, uh, who I appreciate. Uh, I've been on the other side of many arguments with Kobe, um, but I've never walked Kobe, away Kobe. Uh, feeling that uh, he's been unfair or he's been, um, I don't know. Like, uh, like, there are a lot of other people who leave me with bad feelings. N never Kobe. Kobe's a great guy, and I'm ecstatic to have him um, in my community, on my team, and as a friend. So, Kobe, please. Yeah. Absolutely. I feel 100% the same to you, Prime, and to everybody else. My camera just died because my iPhone probably just died of battery. Uh, so there you go. All right. Uh, maybe, we'll okay, we'll okay? um, anyways, maybe we'll do okay, buddy. We'll see. Maybe we'll do okay, buddy. The last thing I wanted to say was that uh, look, I think the world should never forget uh, the uh, you know a couple names. The Republican Party, the Brazilian Social Liberal Party, the BJP. These are parties that are right-wing fascist parties that have destroy helped destroy the world by True. Uh, you know, three of the biggest population True. centers, Brazil, America, and India, uh, uh, completely fucking just uh, fucking up their vaccine response. Uh, Nehendra Modi is somebody who is responsible for it happens all cleansing, the time. Exia Ross, Ross, it is uh, exhausting. Okay, I'm not going to try to pronounce. I'll talk about that after. Nehendra, Nehendra Modi anti-Muslim riots. You'll find it. Yep, he's uh, a I fucking piece of shit. The Indian town. Uh, Modi's but, uh, a piece yeah, of he shit. He is responsible for an unfathomable amount of uh, suffering. Bolsonaro is somebody who's currently committing uh, like a open up genocide, an open genocide well, against uh, indigenous peoples in the uh, so that he, he can poll! cut down more of the rainforest. There's another so poll. Go vote. Go vote. Go vote. Go vote. 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 All at the same time while denying COVID and Twitch TV. Denying Prime all this kind of stuff. We should vote, not, vote, no vote. matter what, whether we we want to win again, or we love winning. Not, we should not let these people off the hook. A lot of our problems are because of these people. We have seen with how Biden has done the how much is changed in America with Biden. Some it could have been different. It could have been different. We could we could have had so many more alive people, so many more people that are not disabled uh, because of this. But we didn't because of these people. So hopefully we can learn to get these people out of power. Uh, so, True. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for talking, to everybody, and have a good night. BJP, so more like blowjob penis. Got him. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, follow me on Twitter at Kobe69420. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, please drop that link in chat. Um, but we 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 love Kobe. Um, or that mysterious person. I don't know who. And witness protection over there. All right, moving on. Uh, we have Metaphor. Metaphor, uh, yet another one of my great mods uh, who does a lot for this community. We want to thank Metaphor. Modi is for the president of India. Um, in this conversation, it was I had a good time talking to him. Um, but uh, Metaphor, uh, please um, tell people where to find you. Bits and channel yeah. points. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Um, all right, well, and, I, and I'm proud that that is the case because Metaphor again is a great part of our community. Um, Dude, this so guy's so thank fucking you, mad. for being part this of this. This guy is so right, sad. Uh, moving on, uh, Demon Mama, Demon Mama, who I also asked just yesterday to be a part of this, and she agreed. <laughs> She's down for a fight anytime. Uh, it seems, uh, which is also DTF. Um, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> sorry, um, uh, sorry, uh, Demon Mama. Uh, I always appreciate uh, 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 you. Um, it's always a, a fight uh, every time uh, when you step in the ring. Uh, it's going to be a knife fight, um, but an enjoyable one, a hilarious one in me in each way. Uh, so, DML, thanks again for sharing your time, because I know you could have been doing lots of other things. But you spent time with me and my community, and I very much appreciate that. DML, please. Yeah, most people would rather go up on a fight against me because they wouldn't survive a fuck with me. Anyway, um, yeah, so uh, thank you very much for having me on. It was wonderful uh, sparring with all of these um, individuals. Don't for just just afterwards, everybody take it easy, chew it over with the Twix. It's gonna be okay. No hurt feelings. All right, it's just it's just debate. All right, and we we learned a lot of things. We talked about a lot of interesting issues. Very happy that we got to do that. Uh, if you're interested in following me and seeing the other based ass shit that I do all the time, DemonMama.com has all of my links. After this, I usually do a brief Q and A, and then we're going to be doing some uh, conservative react. So if that's your cup of tea, come on by. You can join the imps. You can get to know people. You can argue with me if you want to. I sometimes bring people people on and we go back and forth feel free um to do that and uh definitely check out my website uh thank you so much once again for having me on prime always happy to come on and uh yeah look forward to uh, future bouts thank you all right my next oh man i'm still so excited still glowing his name is sharpie uh <laughs> sharpie uh an indescribable mod a mod of he's been here um i think the longest of the three here, um, I, I want to say. Um, uh, Sharpie, he's been here, uh, part of my community for a long, long time. Um, and he's been a great supporter, right? And again, though we are on the other side of this particular topic, right? I really, very much respect Sharpie. I very much respect his mind. I just yeah, like, I feel like you do really good on but panels. He's a great guy. Um, Prime's uh, walk ons are a yeah, great place to start. To see his, his wonderful face. Thank you, Sharpie. You can say stuff. Well, it is what it is, right? Mm -hmm. So, in summary, uh, twitch.tv slash pisco95. Hell yeah, Shambles. Follow Happy him. to have you. He's great. His content is awesome. Uh, you'll love it, I promise. I do a lot of spirited um, debate. Yeah, so I I don't know that we really got anywhere, <laughs> which is probably where we always get on Twitch debates. Um, so. Oh, no. Yeah. Salty. I don't really know. The reality is that if if we want to get rid of these patent rights, uh, that's fine. If we don't He's want doing to get a rid third of them, closing it's fine. statement. It make that big of a difference either way. What we do, we're not going to get the debates suck. Any faster, more hey. than likely, uh, their side honestly leads to significant <laughs> delays. <laughs> Hell we'll yeah, and Laura. Um, I won again. President Biden now has always has the winner. Sided on the side of Prime and said that we should get rid of these vaccine rights. If that inevitably Boom. happens, then, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see if it becomes faster or slower. Thank you, um, Amps. I, Thank I you, have Amps. Doubt significantly, based on everything I've seen, I think the materials are significantly depleted, and that we'll end up with a bunch of vaccines that are not nearly as efficacious. This is just supposed as to be about you, buddy. This is, this is, you're about to give so. closing statements. This is just about you. Who are we to find you? Okay, um, well, I'm done. That was it. You're fine. Okay, all right. Yeah, <laughs> just shout out. Have a good one, chat. Okay, all right. Anyway, um, silly uh, geese. So again, we're gonna go to open walk on panel. I respect everyone here, anyone who's in uh, this panel. Um, I respect you and your participation here. Um, uh, anyone here as well, welcome to join us in our open walk on panel. If not, that's okay. Um, thank you for spending your time, your energy, your passion, your knowledge with my community. I know they appreciate this as much as I do. Have a great one, all of you. Bye. Bye. How do I?
How do I leave the website? Okay. It was a pleasure speaking with you all. Hope you have all uh, have a uh, good night. Good night. All right. Oh no, my notes. My notes. Oh, my notes. Oh, my notes. What the? Wait a second. What's going on here? There we go. My notes. All right. That was interesting. Hey, that was fun. Winner, winner. Hey, thank you for the raid.